What's going on everybody? I am just getting set up here. So bear with me for just a couple minutes until I can get this set up the way I want. So thanks for tuning in guys. Let me bring up the chat here real quick so I can see what you guys are talking about. There we go. Okay. All right. Bring this down just a touch. Bring down a little more. Let's see where that gets us. What's going on, Logan? Good to see you. Just a little bit more. Let's see how that does. There, that's pretty good. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Logan, can you guys hear me okay? Um, I do have my microphone on here. I just want to make sure that it's actually working. Um, so let me know if you can hear me. All right, awesome. I'm glad that it's working, Kelvin. Appreciate it. So uh, thanks for hanging out today. Um, I have not been on the bands yet today. Uh, I just got down here in the shack, and so this will be my first real opportunity to hop on the bands and see how they're doing. Although, put that up there. It's a little shameless promotion. Uh, well, what's going on, uh, Tyler? How are things out in Connecticut? Uh, I, the last week has been fantastic on HF. It's been really, really good. So I think it'll probably continue here today. So if you guys have the ability to do HF, um, turn on your radios because uh, I'm gonna start off on 20 meters and then we'll kind of go from there and see how it's working. I'm gonna try some of those higher bands. We're well into the daylight hours, so those should be coming more to life. Um, from what I could tell, it looked like it was doing pretty well on 17, 15, and 12. So again, if you have an HF radio, hop on here. Uh, we can try to make contact because if we make contact, you'll get one of these cool guys. Uh, you will not get this one, but if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll know that I'm redesigning my QSL cards. This is what my old Colorado one used to look like. Uh, of course, this is Denver. Here's the back side of it. Uh, so this is what the back looked like. Again, this is a picture that I kind of rendered out of the downtown Denver skyline uh, back when I used to live there. So uh, I have one coming from Minnesota. So uh, if we make contact, you'll get one of these fancy five by sevens here. Uh, so I'm gonna start here in 20 meters, guys, and uh, feel free to hop in the chat because you are more than welcome to uh, drop anything you want in the chat. I'll be watching. Uh, so I said, if you have something, please do that. Let me go ahead and change one setting here. There we go. Uh, where did I get them printed? Good question. So um, I use a guy, let me make sure I tell you the right address. If you're looking for a good place to do uh, QSL cards, I definitely vouch for this guy. Uh, KB3IFH, Kilo Bravo 3 India Fox Hotel. And you can go to KB3IFH.homestead.com or just Google his, uh, his call sign. You'll find him. Uh, he's really fantastic. Uh, he does a great job with his QSL cards and he does do design work. So if you don't know how to design stuff, uh, have no fear. He'll be able to help you with that. So that's really awesome. I'm also curious to see how things go with today because I'm looking outside right now and if you're local to Minnesota you know it's 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 kind of windy today so I'm looking at my ladder line right out here in the window and it's bouncing up and down and my ballon is bouncing up and down probably a good three or four feet so I'm not really surprised given again that we have some real good blowing of the trees up there so let me jump on HF now here I am on 14 245 uh, let's give a call and can you guys here let me know Windy out there in Centerville, absolutely, I believe it. Can you guys hear the radio in terms of the audio? Let me know in the chat. And I'm pretty sure this frequency, 14245, has been clear. What's going on, Ryan? Let's give a CQ call here, see what's out there. Let's see what I can stir up. Uh, CQ, CQ, CQ20, calling CQ. Calling CQ, CQ with CQ 20 meters from Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie, QRZ. All right, nothing there. But as you guys know, you still gotta keep going. A CQ, CQ with CQ 20 meters calling CQ. Calling CQ, CQ with CQ 20 meters 
from Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, calling CQ20, CQ20. From Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, QRZ. Still nothing. CQ, CQ, CQ20 meters, calling CQ. Calling CQ, CQ, CQ20 meters. Calling CQ20 meters from Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. Calling CQ20, CQ20 from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, QRZ. Kilo Zero, Alpha 3, Juliet Uniform, you're getting out okay. Kilo Zero, Alpha 3, the Yankee Juliet Uniform. All right, awesome, Charlie. Yeah, you're sounding great here in Minnesota, all the way from out there in uh, Avis, Pennsylvania. You're 5 and 9, 59 here into the northwestern suburbs of Minneapolis. Over. Uh, QSL, well, thanks for the 5 and 5. Yeah, the band conditions uh, appear to be okay. Uh, not too great, at least compared to yesterday. But no, you're sounding fantastic. Uh, we're just using 100 watts into a ZS6 BKW dipole with the center conductor around 50 feet. Over. Hi, okay, that's, only, that's why. Okay, you got my 5 and 9. I'm running about 500 whiskeys over. And, uh, yeah, uh, you're only 100 watts. Yeah, uh, I'm running a uh, 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 Detroit band over. <laughs> so you're doing all the heavy lifting on your side, Charlie. Uh, yeah, doing something, getting uh, over. <laughs> all right, excellent. Well, I said one of these days as I get toward retirement, that tri-bander is going to be on my list along with about 10 acres of land <laughs> and, a, and a nice amplifier like you have. All right, thanks, Charlie. There's a few other stations in there, so I'll let you go. But we got you down in the logbook with your 5.9 there from Pennsylvania. So thank you so much, Charlie. I appreciate it. And the name is Matt, by the way, on this end. Mike Alpha Tango Tango. You're sounding good from Fox November 1.1. Uh, KA3YJU from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. 73 from the Twin Cities. Uh, take care. QRZ? November 3, Kilo Zulu Kilo from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. Uh, good afternoon, Todd. You're sounding good here in Minnesota. You're about 5 and 5, 55. Over. Yeah, it seems like we got some propagation from Minnesota to Pennsylvania here this afternoon. And uh, you probably heard there in the last go-around, I think you were on the first uh, CQ call there. We're just running 100 watts into a dipole around 50 feet. Over. Excellent. Well, I said it's doing a good job for you here in Minnesota. And with that, I'll say 73. Stay healthy and stay safe uh, out east. And uh, keep your head down until we get that vaccine. And we'll catch you down the log. Thanks for, coming, thanks for coming back to the CQ call. We got you down in the log. N3, KZK from Kilowatt Zero, Lima, Whiskey, Charlie. 73 from the Twin Cities. What's going on, guys? Oh, Ryan, you just left the house. Yeah, yeah, I said the bands have been fantastic the last couple days, Ryan. And, uh, yeah, I said it's, I mean, I've knocked out so many contacts here these last, like, five or six days since I got my wire back up. I think I'm up to, like, 20 countries, 22 countries, um, mixed between SSB and FT8. Uh, I mean, it's just been fantastic. 17s have been phenomenal if you've been on 17. So there's a two quick contacts, both to Pennsylvania. So let's try again here. Let's give her another shot, guys. Uh, CQ, CQ, uh, CQ20, calling CQ, calling CQ, uh, CQ20 meters from Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, calling CQ20 meters, CQ20 meters from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, QRZ. Uh, Kilo Bravo 2, Charlie Hotel Mike, uh, we may have talked maybe yesterday, go ahead. Uh, we'll go with the Kilo Bravo 2, Charlie Hotel Mike. Uh, yeah, I think we did, Stuart, yesterday, uh, I think on the same exact frequency, actually. Oh, I don't know. I've been, I've been all over the place. Um, I, don't, I don't log a lot of contacts, but yeah, you got a great signal with 100 watts, so 
I guess uh, good signal reports back and forth, right? Five and nine? Oh, absolutely. No different than yesterday, Stuart. You're sounding fantastic. Five and nine. Uh, still sounding excellent. And uh, yeah, I guess with that pipeline is still open between us. Hi, hi. All right, 73, Stuart, thanks for coming back. Great to have you in the log yet again. You're still sounding excellent from Fox November 1-3. Take care. KB2CHM, K0LWC, LBQRZ. Kilo Echo 8, Oscar Papa Zulu. Was that Kilo Echo 8, Oscar Papa Zulu? Roger, Roger. Name here is Eric. All right, fantastic, Eric. Just taking a look here at your uh, QRZ. It looks like you are uh, new to ham radio, is that right? Well, excellent. It's always great to have new people coming into the hobby. Uh, what got you into ham radio? <laughs> well, I said everyone has their entry, and I said it's always an interesting story for any one person about uh, why they got into the hobby in the first place. Well, I said your report here is you're a solid uh, 5 and 7, 57 into the state of Minnesota. I'm located about 20 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis, and uh, you're sounding good this way. We're just running 100 watts into a ZS6 BKW dipole uh, with the center conductor up around 50 feet. Over. Okay, uh, Roger. I'm up to 5.9 there. Oh boy, well it's doing a fantastic job for you. I'm going to revise you up to a 5 and 9. Uh, the band brought you up to a 5 and 9 there on the last one completely. And uh, what's my report there on your end, over? Uh, you come across 5, 9 plus, uh, great modulation, uh, no problems at all here. Over. Awesome. All right, excellent. Well, uh, that's always a good report to receive. And uh, how was your Thanksgiving out in Ohio, over? What's going on, the smoke and ape? What's going on, Kevin? Thanks for telling people to hit the like button. That's awesome. All right, excellent. Well, I'm glad you had a good Thanksgiving, although, like you said, maybe the weather didn't cooperate uh, like you wanted to out there. Well, again, I'll let you go. Thanks so much for the good report. Glad to hear you had a good Thanksgiving, even though the weather was uh, not up to par. We've had a beautiful couple days here. Yesterday was about 50 degrees and sunshine, so maybe that's coming your way today. I don't know. Uh, hopefully you got nice weather uh, coming your way. But uh, 73 from Minnesota, and thanks so much. We got you down in the logbook. Uh, stay healthy and stay safe. Uh, Eric, we'll catch you down the log. KE8OPZ from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, 73. Uh, QRZ? Uh, Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, QRZ? Turn this down. Any of you guys out there, I know that Kelvin, who I think is nearby, obviously, um, is probably listening to the same people that I'm hearing. Uh, but if you guys have an HF radio, get on. Uh, try to make contact with me. I'm going to throw out now, one of the great features, by the way, of the 7300 is it has a built-in recorder so you can actually use it for contesting but it's also handy just for everyday use where I can record something and then play it that way I'm not tweaking my voice a million times and losing my voice in a few hours so I'm gonna go in and record it uh, a CQ call here under my one spot and let's give it a shot CQ 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 20 meters calling CQ calling CQ 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 20 CQ20 from Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie calling CQ20 meters CQ CQ CQ20 meters from Kilowatt Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie calling CQ20 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 from Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie QRZ hit the stop button and now I can just hit my button and it'll do it for me there we go you can hear it. Calling CQ, calling CQ, CQ, CQ20, 
So uh, it's just playing off my SD card, which is down here in the lower left corner of the radio. So that's a really nice feature of the 7300. Yeah, I said, Kelvin, we probably had could do 40 maybe. Yeah, 40, you're probably still too short. Yeah, probably 80 NVIS. Before I hoisted my antenna up, it probably would have been great. It was eight feet off the ground. Uh, the Victor Echo 3. Yeah, Victor Echo 3, Echo Zulu. Name here is Steve, and you're 59 plus 10 in Toronto. All right, Victor Echo 3, Echo... Was it Echo Zulu? I want to make sure I get that right. Yes, sir. Echo Zulu, QSL. All right, QSL, you're also 59 here into the state of Minnesota in the northern United States. You're sounding uh, fantastic here as well. The name is Matt Mike Alpha Tango Tango. And uh, we're located about 20 miles uh, northwest of downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. We're just running uh, 100 watts into a 93-foot long dipole at about 50 feet. Over. Oh, very good. Yeah, you're 59 plus 10. You have been for uh, a few minutes. And uh, yeah, we've been to Minnesota. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I've been to most U.S. states several times, including a lot of so. Yeah, good signal, and uh, we're running 100 watts at ICOM 7300, and uh, we're also into a dipole at about 50 feet, uh, 40, 46 feet, I think. So very similar setup. Well, uh, just as it's doing for me, it's doing a great job for you. Uh, you sound fantastic, and uh, good audio coming from the uh, ICOM. And just because I like to compare audio, uh, what are your audio settings right now on your 7300? He does sound really, really good. I left it at. And uh, I, had, uh, I had several people tell me, you know, you, you can change them, and I've never bothered. I've always had good reports, just as it was. Uh, the only addition I made is uh, running a Heil microphone, oh. a little boom mic. Um, it's got a boom mic on there. That's on my wish list is a nice Heil boom mic. Yeah, what, uh, what Heil mic are you running there? All right, excellent. Yeah, I'm using the stock hand mic that comes with the radio. The, uh, the actual element inside the microphone for the stock mic is actually a Heil uh, piece of hardware, so that's why it sounds so good even with the hand mic. But I have a, a Heil boom mic on my Christmas wish list. We'll see if Santa Claus brings it or not. Uh, fingers crossed that he does. Uh, how are things going for you guys with COVID up there in Canada? Over. Glad you're doing all right, Ryan. Um, and I looked for the box for this mic, and I don't have it. But uh, it's funny, I bought it on a Memorial Day sale, I think, uh, two years ago, and then I bought a second one. On a nice. Day What's sale. your uh, antenna setup at your place, Ryan? Uh, they were inexpensive, I think about $100. And uh, COVID here is fine. We're, we live on 10 acres, uh, small uh, hobby farm, pretty self-sufficient. We don't have to go out very often, thank God. Um, so we're, we're pretty okay. Um, He's know, five and nine, nine, by the way, Kelvin. Away from it. But, uh, generally speaking, he's dropping to about a five and six, but he's a solid five, five nine when he's in there. Is, uh, I think we're, we're about 1,600 cases per day, I think is the number now, though. Right? All right, excellent. Well, it's uh, good to hear that uh, I said you guys haven't been personally impacted, and it's not, uh, I said, too terribly bad where you're at there, at least in terms of how much you have to go out. I was talking with somebody way, way, way up at north in Canada, like west of Greenland, and they said they actually had their first COVID-19 case like about a week or two ago. They had escaped all this time. Uh, I'm guessing it was something to do with some mining operations way, way, way up there in Canada near the Arctic Circle. And uh, it was a very interesting conversation. So, yeah, cases are spiking here, so we're sticking close to home and uh, didn't travel for the American Thanksgiving holiday and all that. So uh, we're hopefully just waiting on those vaccines around the corner. But, all right, I'm going to let it, you go. There's some more people in there that I want to uh, get to. But, no, you're sounding fantastic. You're going to make some more contacts. That, uh, that Diapole and that 7300, just like me, is doing great for you. 
Uh, great to hear you in there from Fox November 04. Uh, so with that, I'll say 73 from the Twin Cities. Uh, Victor Echo 3, Echo Zulu. This is Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. Uh, nice. North, south, one, Loop antenna at 30 feet. Awesome. Had some FTA reports, for example, out of yeah, I'm hoping my dipole does not take any damage over the winter. Uh, Fingers crossed. Yes, Vincent. Conditions are great. The solar flux index is over 100. Sunspots are in the 60s. So conditions are really, really good, especially compared to what they've been the last few years. All right, uh, take care and uh, good DX. VE3EZ, Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey, Charlie, QRZ. Whiskey Alpha 4, Tango Lima. Uh, Whiskey Alpha 4, Tango Lima. Uh, good copy, Thomas. You're 5 and 6, 56 in the state of Minnesota. Over. Northern Alabama. Awesome. Thank you so much for the five and eight into Alabama. And uh, how is your Thanksgiving down that way, Thomas? It looks like we also worked on sideband. Oh, let's see here. It would have been a couple days ago, so uh, <laughs> it hasn't been that long. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, we had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, just me and the wife. I had uh, Hello, uh, NCT. He's up to a five and nine here. Uh, Fort Worth area, all the grandkids, and um, my only daughter lives down there. So we uh, we figured discretion was the better part of valor, and we're gonna just keep an eye out. Hey, Kevin. For, uh, see what it's gonna do for Christmas. We might spend that here too. Thanks for the likes, Kevin. I appreciate it. Awesome. Well, I'm glad to hear you had a good Thanksgiving, and uh, I said everything went well uh, with the small celebration. That's fantastic. Uh, just a reminder, in case it's not in your log notes, we're just running 100 watts into a 93-foot dipole at 50 feet here, uh, attached to some trees back in the wetland here behind my house. And I'm located about 20 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis, and we're just running a uh, ICOM 7300. Over. You always get good audio reports on the ICOM 7300. Always. You just can't beat this little hand mic. It sounds like you're running a big boom mic, but this is actually a Heil condenser in here. He's back to five and nine. He was around five and five, five and four, and now he swung back up with the QSB at a five and nine. Oh, fantastic. Well, I'm glad that uh, I'm giving some good audio. That's always a good report to get. Uh, very common with the ICOM 7300 to have such good audio. So uh, thanks so much, Thomas. I'll say 73. It's great to hear you in there from uh, Echo Mike uh, 64. You're doing a great job here again in the Minnesota. So uh, 73, stay healthy and stay safe. We'll catch you down the log at WA4TL from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. Uh, 73 from the Twin Cities. Awesome, Riley. You can hear me in West Michigan. That's interesting, especially on 20. 20 is really short then. That's crazy. Uh, QRZ. All right, we'll put the auto on. So 14245, by the way, is the frequency. You probably can see it here on the radio. But yeah, um, yeah, it's crazy that I'm being heard in West Michigan. That's really short for 20 meters. Um, it just gives you a, a sense that there is some short stuff playing. I mean, I did get Ohio, so I guess it does make sense. So anybody else got an HF radio, get on the frequency. We can give it a shot. Don't forget also, you can check out Kiwi SDR, and you can tune around and see if you can hear me. 
uh, ending in Tango Delta Lima. Whiskey five, Tango Delta Lima. All right, Whiskey five, Tango Delta Lima, a five nine fifty nine into the state of Minnesota. The name here is Matt, Mike Alpha, Tango Tango. Excellent. And uh, how are things in New Mexico today? Hopefully a lot warmer than they are here. We're about uh, 34, 35 degrees. Well, I think we're a little warmer than that. Not a whole lot. <laughs> Just a little. But, uh, yeah, we're a little warmer than that. I think it was 50-something the last time I looked. Yeah, it's 52 degrees here. And I guess uh, the high today is supposed to be about 54. So, yeah, we'll probably make a little more than 54, but uh, it's hard to say. We've been going in here, and uh, yeah, it cooled off. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were 90 degrees, so uh, yeah, it's a big temperature change, but uh, we're used to it here in the old desert. Yeah, and I said, without me clicking around to see uh, exactly where you're located, uh, what part of New Mexico are you in? Yeah, we're just three miles south of Artesia, New Mexico. It's between Carlsbad and Roswell in the southeast part of the state. Oh, it's down by Roswell. I've been down there. All right, yeah, I've been in your neck of the woods. I made a road trip from Denver to Roswell because, well, who doesn't want to take a road trip to Roswell, New Mexico and uh, get lost in the tourist trap that is Roswell? So <laughs> I've been down there, and uh, I said it's, it's amazing just how flat. And uh, I can remember going, my favorite story of New Mexico was, I think I was going about 100 to 105 miles an hour down one of the highways north of Roswell coming into town, and I passed by a county sheriff, and uh, he didn't even bat an eye over What's going on, Anton? Good to have you from Russia. It's got to be, what, uh, pretty late at night, I'm guessing, in Russia, or getting to be evening time. Travis, good to have you in here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I said, uh, I, said I mean, New Mexico is such a varied terrain. You know, you have the northern part, it's very mountainous. It's kind of the southern tip of the Rocky Mountains. And then you have the desert and then some other kind of valley features in there. So, yeah, it's a very interesting state. I enjoyed my time there. I never got to some of the northern cities, you know, Taos and uh, some of that stuff, you know, Santa Fe, stuff like that. That's still on my get-to list, but uh, I hear good things about the northern part of the state. Over. Nothing in Wichita, too bad. short for 20. Uh, yeah, we're right here at the north end of the Chihuahua Desert. You know, I might try to switch it up, so if you're nearby, maybe we could try 40 meters. 40 meter daytime to Kansas might actually work. We've been here since uh, 1978. We moved from Indiana. And uh, that's relatively flat land, too, but not near as flat as Kansas. But, yeah, we, uh, we get tired of the snow and uh, all the winter weather and uh, hot, humid summers. And uh, we moved to the desert southwest. And, uh, I guess we're just a bunch of old desert rats down here now. <laughs> I don't blame you. I have plenty of friends that do not like the cold weather, and they also dream of moving to the desert upon retirement, uh, where they can bake under the sun. <laughs> it's not a bad way to live. So, uh, and I spent a lot of time also in the deserts of Arizona, and uh, especially out in Utah. I spent a lot of time out there as well when I lived in Colorado. So enjoy the desert. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but with that, I'll say 73. There's a few other folks out there we'll get to. And then I might try going to 40 meters here for some short stuff. And I am streaming live on YouTube, by the way. So you've actually been featured in my YouTube live stream video here on my channel, which is K0LWC on YouTube. So thank you so much for being a part of the uh, live stream here today. And with that, I'll say 73. We got you down in the log, Thomas. You're sounding good from DM72. Uh, uh, with that, 73 from the Twin Cities, uh, W5TDL from Kilowatt Zero, Lima, Whiskey Charlie. Your uh, live stream works out real well there, and uh, I haven't tuned over there, but uh, yeah, we can check it out. K0 LWC W5TDL will be clear. 7 3 up there, Matt. Have a great one. Yeah, you too. Uh, try to your best to stay cool, but this is your best time of year. <laughs> All right, uh, take care, Thomas. Uh, great to have you in there. And uh, again, yep, the strive. Uh, well, can't even talk today. Streaming live on YouTube. K0 LWC is the YouTube channel. But uh, come on in here for the next contact. I'll be QRZ. Kilo Bravo Zero. 4 UDK. We'll go with UDK because Kelvin heard him. 
Uh, WA4 UDK 59 into Minnesota. Well, it's doing a fantastic job. You're about three over S9 here. It sounds fantastic. And uh, how was your Thanksgiving down there in Tennessee this week? Over? Oh, it was great. It was great. I got You got somebody right next to me, really strong. Yeah, I said same thing here. Uh, wait, ate way too much turkey. Had way too many pieces of pumpkin pie, and I'm still recovering from that. I think I'm uh, I'm still bloated. <laughs> from all that eating but it was enjoyable we kept it real small just my wife and my young son he's 14 months old we just stuck close to home and uh, FaceTime with the family across the country uh, keeping everybody safe it was different but uh, I said the most important thing is uh, I said both ourselves and the rest of the family are safe but uh, we enjoyed ourselves it was quite the meal my wife uh, did a good job with it and uh, hopefully you guys are staying safe down there how are things with COVID down in Tennessee Five nine in Wichita, Joseph. You should hop in there. John, my antenna is a ZS6 BKW. Oh, did you have a question on the mic? Was that it? See, everyone's thinking I got a bunch of power and a big microphone. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple setup. It's an ICOM 7300, not like you've uh, never heard one of those on the air before, <laughs> with a, uh, a ZS6 BKW dipole. Uh, it's a 93-foot dipole. It's a, it's a version that's a, kind of a modified G5 RV to be more resonant on more bands. And that's up around 50 feet at the center conductor. One leg gets up around 80 feet in the trees. The other leg gets to about 45 feet with the center at 50. And uh, we're not running any special microphone or equalizing audio just a straight hand microphone here uh, from the icom 7300 and just a little bit of compression uh, but yeah just 100 watts over okay well that sounds good well i'll let you go there's people hollering for you appreciate you picking me up i'll uh heard you talk to that gentleman out there in uh, new mexico about your youtube channel i'll check it out 73 K0LWC, WA4UDK. Ciao, ciao. Appreciate it. Yep, 73. Thanks so much. Uh, we'll catch you down the log. Uh, K0LWC, QRZ. Bravo 0, Kilo Fox Hotel. Kilo Bravo 0, Kilo Bravo 0, Kilo Fox Hotel. Glad you're able to bust through, Joseph. Welcome in. Oh, you're a beautiful five and nine here, uh, so I guess band conditions must have just shifted around just right. All right, thank you so much, Joseph. And if you're watching, so Joseph is in the chat. So there's our first contact from the YouTube live chat here on HF. So thank you so much, Joseph. That's awesome. And uh, 73 down there in Kansas, uh, KB0KFH, uh, K0LWC. On the K0LWC YouTube live stream, uh, we'll be QRZ. The November 7 Sierra. All right, Jim in Wyoming, you're sounding wonderful. 5 and 8, 58 into the state of Minnesota. Uh, they're from Laramie, N7SPH, K0LWC. Been through your neck of the woods many a times, driving from Denver to Bismarck, North Dakota. So uh, I know Wyoming well, more than I ever thought I would. Over. Oh, yeah, we got, got our nice usual weather, about 32 degrees here. Uh, I heard you in there, but I'd give you a holler. Ah, too uh, close. That's a bummer. K0LWC and 7SPH. 
Well, before I let you run the N7 SPH K0LWC, I'm pretty sure I still need Wyoming for my uh, mixed mode, worked all states. So I'm not sure if you confirm on LOTW or on QRZ.com, but if you do, uh, that would be wonderful because I think I still need Wyoming. But uh, with that, uh, I'll say 73. And uh, I said, take care out there in Wyoming. All right, awesome. Yeah, QRZ would be perfect. That's my main logbook. So uh, if you could do it there, that would be fantastic. Uh, this is K0LWC73 uh, out to uh, to you there, Jim, in Wyoming. Take care, and I'll be QRZ. November 2, Whiskey, Florida, Kilowatt. Uh, November 2, Whiskey, Florida, Kilowatt from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, 59 into Minnesota. Okay, Matt, QSL. The name here is Chris, Charlie Hotel, Romeo, India, Sierra. About five over. All right, fantastic. Always good to hear New Jersey in my receive. Uh, I've never been to New Jersey. I've seen it from New York City, uh, but I've never been. And uh, we're just running 100 watts into a 93-foot dipole at about 50 feet here from the ICOM 7300. Uh, that's the setup on this end, over. Uh, Matt. Yeah, we're running here an ICOM 7610. With a Ooh, a 7610. Mm. We're running about 11 watts into a ground mount at 0.5 vertical antenna, QSL. Oh, fantastic. Well, it's doing a good job for you. And uh, I didn't catch it. I think you said solid state. The, what amp are you running specifically? Uh, the solid state amplifier is called, it's called a Mercury 3S. Mercury 3S. QSL. Oh, boy. I haven't heard of that one. I'm going to have to look it up now because uh, I'm in the market for an amplifier. I need to have a little power. My neighbors might not agree because I'm already interfering with them with FT8 <laughs> with some of their LED lights on dimmers. But uh, that's on my, uh, my list. But I'm assuming, and I don't know if you had a tube amp before that or if you've always had solid state, but uh, what do you think your solid state amp in terms of using solid state over a tube? Well, I had tube amplifiers before. The last one we had was an AL ADB, and uh, it's definitely a lot nicer having a solid state amplifier. Don't have to worry about tuning it. Uh, it goes from band to band. Solid 5.9 here from radio. New Jersey. Um, I just basically but 1100 watts certainly watch. helps. with a green uh, at, a, at a decent price compared to a lot of other solid state amplifiers. What's going on, Nate? And uh, it's got a really nice... Yeah, DMR will be great for you. It's, it's a lot of fun to play with. And uh, so it, it's really good. I, <laughs> I like Kyle's comment that I'm plus 40. I thought I'd be plus 60 on YouTube. Yeah, I said that's what I really like about it. You don't have to fuss with the tuning. A lot of them just automatically identify what band it's on. There's no messing around with anything. You just change from band to band on the radio and the, the amp knows what to do. So uh, I would like to you know, set aside a little extra uh, moolah, ask Santa Claus to come through, maybe throw a few stacks of hundreds in his bag for him and have him drop off one of those uh, for the holidays. <laughs> that's the plan. We'll see if it actually comes to fruition. I don't know, but uh, it's certainly on the long list. But all right, Chris, uh, with other people in there, I'll say 73, but you're sounding great there with your 1,100 watts from New Jersey out here in the Twin Cities. I'm about 20 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis, uh, otherwise known as the home of the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, so again, you're sounding good. Uh, don't change a thing. N2WFK from K0LWC. Can't be heard in Vegas. Oh, I bet you I'd be becoming better in Vegas in about two hours from now. All right, 73, Chris. Uh, thanks so much for the contact. Really appreciate it. All right, uh, live streaming on YouTube under the K0LWC channel. That is a channel name on YouTube where you can find it. Uh, but we'll go to the next contact and see who else is out there. This is Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, QRZ. Let's go with the Victor Echo 3. Victor Echo 3. All right, we had two of them. Victor Echo 3, Fox Bravo Yankee. You're up first. Roger that. Thank you very much. Uh, this is Victor Echo 3, Fox Bravo Yankee. Uh, you are 5959 in Guelph, Ontario, Canada. I'm only running 100 watts here. And uh, can I get your QTH call sign over? 
Yeah, call sign here is Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie. Kilowatt Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie. The name is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango Tango. And I'm located in the state of Minnesota in the northern United States. I'm uh, about 20 miles northwest of the uh, large city of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Over. Yeah, I'm running what's called a ZS6 BKW. It's a modified G5 RV. It's a 93 foot long dipole and it's up around 50 feet in the air at the center conductor. One leg gets around 80, the other around 45, but the center conductor, which most of the radiation occurs in the center of the antenna, is about, uh, about 50 feet up in the air and just 100 watts. Over. He sounds pretty young. Excellent. Before you run, uh, I have to ask you, just from the sound of your voice, uh, how old are you? Uh, 14, over. He's 14 years old. And that's what I like to hear. There is, uh, there is hope for the future. That's awesome that you are licensed and on the air and active. So uh, awesome. Congratulations. I'm not sure how long you've been a ham, but uh, keep it up. And uh, your station is sounding good from Canada. Uh, VE3FBY from Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. Awesome. Well, I said hopefully you're enjoying it because there's so many things to do with ham radio. HF is just one of them, and uh, I'm sure you'll find all kinds of fun you can have in this hobby. Over. All right, 73. Thanks for the contact up there to uh, Canada. Good DX and take care. Uh, thanks so much, Cameron. Uh, QRZ. Kilo, Kilo 4. Let's go with the Kilo, Kilo 4. Kilo, Kilo 4, Quebec Alpha My name is John in Alabama, and I have you at a 5757. QSL, Don, thank you so much for the five and seven. I have you at five and nine here in the state of Minnesota. Uh, the name is Matt Mike Alpha Tango Tango, and I'm located about 20 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. Over. Roger, Roger. I'm about uh, three hours north of the coast. Uh, I am watching the live stream. All right, awesome. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to the live stream. I really appreciate it. Hello. Um, uh, thanks so much for hopping in there and checking it out. It's, it's always nice, too, when you're on a live stream, you can kind of hear yourself, you know, on the air and get a little sense of how you're sounding. But uh, how was your Thanksgiving down south? Oh, Thanksgiving was fine. Way too much to eat as usual. And I know you got other people in there waiting, so I'll go ahead and say 7-3 and uh, not to get you in the law. This is kk 4 qam I'm standing by. All right. Thanks so much, Don. Glad to hear you had a good Thanksgiving and uh, it's treated you well. Thanks so much for the contact and thanks for tuning in to the YouTube live stream uh, on the K0LWC YouTube channel. Uh, take care, 73. Uh, break in there with KK4QAM. This is K0LWC QRZ. Uh, ending in Quebec, Charlie Yankee. Quebec, Charlie Yankee. Uh, QSL, Bob, you're also 5 and 8, 58 in the state of Minnesota. The name is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango Tango, as you gathered. And again, I'm about 20 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis. Just running 100 watts into a 93-foot dipole at 50 feet. Over. Yep, take care, Bob. Thanks so much for the contact. Uh, QRZ. Whiskey Romeo 8 Foxtrot. Whiskey Romeo 8 Foxtrot, 5 and 9 into Minnesota. Uh, thank you, 5 and 7, 5 and 7 here in uh, Canton, Ohio. Over. All right, thanks so much for the 5 and 7. Again, we're about 20 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm just running 100 watts into a 93 foot long dipole at 50 feet. Over. 
Oh, yeah, sounds great. Um, yeah, I'm running 100 watts into a fan dipole at uh, 75 feet. Oh, uh, Ryan, you're not hearing me. Bummer. Uh, have fun. Have a great afternoon. Yeah, thanks so much for stopping by, Ryan. I appreciate it. Uh, good to hear you in there from Echo November 9-0. K0LWC, QRZ. Uh, ending in whiskey. Kilo Echo 8, Oscar Lima Whiskey, QSL. Yeah, QSL, Kilo Echo 8, Oscar Lima Whiskey from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. Uh, yeah, you're sounding good, Greg. Yeah, it must be standing right outside your patio there. <laughs> yeah, thanks so great. Uh, thanks for the great audio report and great uh, signal report of 10 over S9. You're probably about a 5859, 58 to 59. Some QS Bravo brings you down a little bit, but uh, not too bad. You probably caught it by now, but uh, just to run over it again, the name is Matt Mike Alpha Tango Tango. I am located in uh, Minnesota, about 20 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis in a town called Maple Grove. Over. No, we don't have any snow up here yet. Uh, as I look outside here, out the back window of my ham shack, I see nothing but green grass, and the temperature is about 35 degrees. Uh, we had a couple snowstorms uh, earlier in the month, but all of that has since melted. So uh, no snow yet, and uh, I'm not complaining. Over. Well, you guys uh, always have, I said, kind of up and down weather. You never really know what you're going to get. And, uh, well, of course, you know, the Dayton Hamvention is always known in the springtime for your uh, tremendous thunderstorms that will always blow through. Over. He's dropping down to my noise level at S3. <laughs> yeah, QSL. Well, uh, hopefully you guys don't have too bad of a winter down your way. Uh, we're hoping for a really mild one up here in Minnesota. As I take a look here at my ladder line out the back window, it's jumping up and down about three or four feet. We got some pretty stiff winds up around uh, 80 feet where the antenna is, so it's really bobbing that antenna up and down. But with that, I'll say 73, Greg. Thanks for the contact. You're sounding pretty good from Echo November 80, especially here on the short 20 stuff today. So I'm surprised it's so short at this time in the day. But nonetheless, we got you in the log. 73, and we'll catch you uh, again down the log book. K-E-8-O-L-W from K-0-L-W-C. Uh, 73. QSL uh, 73, QRZ. The Victor Echo 3 X-Ray Delta Bravo. Uh, go ahead. Good afternoon, Matt. Thanks for the call. Your five knots is Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. About 50 miles west of Toronto. Uh, I appreciate your video. All right, excellent. Thank you so much for the five and nine there from Kitchener, Ontario. And I know Kitchener, Ontario, because I'm pretty sure you guys have a hockey team up there. I'm not sure if it's the, I don't know if it was WHL or if that's considered, I forget the league now. But you'll have to tell me here in the next go around. We'll just hold it real quick at what your hockey team there is in Kitchener. Um, I forget what junior league is up there. But I'm a big hockey fan myself. But thanks so much for watching the videos. Glad you like them and enjoy them. That's awesome. And uh, again, if you didn't catch it, uh, I'm running just 100 watts into the dipole at 50 feet. Uh, it's bobbing up and down like a bobber outside right now. And uh, as you can probably see if you're watching the live stream, I just have the ICOM 7300 here over. Be safe and uh, thanks for the uh, thanks for the uh, report.
Yes, there you go, the OHL, that's what I was thinking of. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, I had a roommate in college that played college hockey down here, and he was drafted by the London Knights in the OHL. He was a goaltender. Uh, a good friend of mine there from uh, uh, Sudsbury, Ontario, is who I shacked up with in college as a roommate. But uh, thanks so much for coming in here. We got you in the logbook, and uh, we're going to give you a 5 and 6, 56. He came up there a little bit with the band in the last go-around. But thank you so much for the 5 and 9 in Kitchener, Ontario. VE3XDB, good DX73 uh, from K0LWC. Couple stations in there. Uh, QRZ again. Uh, ending in Radio Charlie. All right, Bob, uh, K9RC from Flower Mound. Uh, you're sounding good here into the western suburbs of uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'll give you a report there on the next go-around when I take a closer look at the meter. The name is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango Tango. Over. Very good, Matt. Good afternoon. Hey, there, Bob. He and, came up uh, a lot there. The band just up and down. Oh yeah, I said I'm originally from Wassa and went to school in Menominee, so I spent a lot of my early years there in Wisconsin. Uh, where were you at originally uh, up in Wisconsin? Um, outside of Milwaukee in a small town called Wauwatosa. Oh yeah, I know right where Wauwatosa is. Uh, and so it was about, you know, two and change from where I was there in Wassa. Uh, so yeah, I know where Wauwatosa is at. And uh, all right, you're a 5 and 8, 58 uh, here into the northwest side of Minneapolis. Over. Awesome. Thank you so much for the 5-9 report. I have to assume that uh, you escaped Wauwatosa to get somewhere warmer. Uh, is that the case? Yeah, well, you know, it, it's... Uh, it, it's uh, N4 BVD? Uh, okay. Uh, and, uh, I hear him there. I can hear him, yep. Uh, I hear it. All right, uh, well, that's awesome. I don't blame you <laughs> because uh, I, I am not a fan of coming back to Minnesota and readjusting myself for the cold weather. It's, it's not my favorite season. Uh, living in Colorado for 10 years, I got spoiled with nice weather. So uh, now I'm having to readjust to the cold and hot humidity on both seasons. But with that, I'll say 73, a few other stations in there that I'll pick up. So uh, thanks so much for giving me a call. Uh, you're sounding great. You're peaking again about five and eight here uh, in Maple Grove, Minnesota. Uh, Kilo Nine Romeo Charlie from Kilowatt Zero Limo Whiskey Charlie. And uh, so with that, I'll say 73. Got a big tango tango signal in there. Uh, QRZ. Uh, there's a K, was it Kilo Zulu 4 Tango Tango? Uh, Roger, that's correct, Matt. Kilo Zulu 4 Tango Tango. Name is Bill, and I'm in northwestern Florida. Nice, nice signal and uh, great audio, man. Very strong down here uh, this afternoon there, over. Yeah, you're uh, same thing here. You're about 20 over S9 here into the northwest suburbs of Minnesota, so you're sounding fantastic up this way in the uh, snow and ice country. Yeah, the name is Matt Mike Alpha Tango Tango. Just running 100 watts uh, from Nikon 7300 into a 93-foot dipole at about 50 feet. Over. Oh, yeah, man. Awesome. Doing a great job. I'm looking at you with about, oh, 550, 600 watts. Uh, two elements uh, active on the... Uh, yeah, on he's big-time signal, Calvin. Yeah, it's a 412 XR5. There's a QSB. Two elements per band. Comes back. Uh, about 50 feet. And we're looking right at you. So, anyway, that's about it, man. You sound great. Yes, I am from Wassa originally. All right, KZ4TT, thanks so much, Bill. Yeah, I said you're just booming up here as well. So uh, I'm sure you'll be making some more contacts around the band because um, there's definitely a pipeline between us here in Minnesota and you guys down there in Florida. As long as there's a pipeline, if you could send us some warmer weather, we'd be appreciative. <laughs> With that, 73, Bill, KZ4TT, K0LWC.
Now you can keep that, QRZ. Kilo, Charlie, Sioux Sugar, Yankee, Fox, Kilo, Charlie, 2, Sugar, Yankee, Fox, 5-9 in Minnesota. Very good, thanks very much, uh, Matt. The first name is Mike, and I'm in Long Island, New York, Babylon, New York, and you're 5-9 here also. All right, thanks so much for the 5-9 out there in New York. And uh, I believe you said you were in Long Island. Fantastic. Uh, yep, name is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango Tango. Located about 20 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. And uh, just running 100 watts into a 93-foot uh, dipole at about 50 feet. And you're coming right off the end of the dipole. Over. Uh, very good. I'm also running a dipole at off center bed. I have an ICOM 7610. Uh, I'm running some power right now. Oh, 7610. I would be interested in the 7610, but the flex radio is kind of interesting too. Yeah, the 7610, the big brother to the radio that I am running, the ICOM 7300. Uh, if I were to upgrade, I would definitely either get the 7610 or the flex radio. What do you think of your 7610? Over. I actually like the uh, 7610. I bought it. Uh, I actually put a deposit on both the flex and the uh, 7610. And the 76 temps became available first, um, so I wound up getting this, and so far I, I do like it. Uh, it has a lot of speed. What do you got on him, Calvin? Something I'll never use, um, and then I also have a uh, 9700 that I. Let me know how you're here in New York, there in Centerville. Yeah, I love my 7300. It's the best bang for the buck radio on the market, uh, bar none. It's a fantastic radio for the price point. And uh, it's just been a little workhorse for me, so I love it. Uh, but with that, uh, I'll say 73. Thanks so much for coming in. You're sounding great from Fox November 3-0. You sound really good. Nice, clear, crisp audio. Excuse me. That's some of my turkey coming back up. Uh, but you sound fantastic. Uh, and we'll got you down in the logbook, and uh, we'll catch you further down the log another day. KC2SYF from Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. 73, Michael, from the Twin Cities. Very good. 73. Have a good uh, holiday season and a uh, good rest of your weekend from New York. 73. KC2SYF. Take care. QRZ. Uh, let's go with the Whiskey 4. Whiskey 4. All right, fantastic. You're also a 5 and 8, 58 in the state of Minnesota, Larry. Uh, you're sounding good here on the northwestern suburbs of Minneapolis, Minnesota. My name is Matt Mike Alpha Tango Tango. Just running 100 watts into a 93 foot dipole at 50 feet. Over. Roger, Matt. Roger. He's about 5'7 to 5'9. Always got a hex beam. If my neighbors wouldn't hate me, I'd get a hex beam. Yeah, if, if my neighbors would not hate me, I would get a hex beam. <laughs> I think I'd get some dirty looks, but uh, I do get away with my wire pretty easily. I don't know about the hex beam, though. I think they may have something to say about that. But uh, everyone that runs hex beams, every time I talk to them, they always sound great. And uh, they generally love them. Is that the case for you? Roger, Roger. I love mine. I've got the KIO hex beam and also built me a 40 meter dipole to go on to it. So I'm loving it, Greg. Fantastic. Well, I said if, if I ever can convince my wife and the neighbors to not kill us, the hex beam will be on the list for sure. <laughs> no questions asked. Um, I said I'd put it right up around 60 feet and oh, it'd be. I just, I think about it, I fantasize and dream about it. I don't know when it will happen, someday. But uh, thanks so much, Larry. You're sounding wonderful. You're peaking 5.9 briefly with some QS Bravo here in Minnesota. So you're going to make some more contacts on that thing. I know it. Have fun with it. You're sounding good from Echo Mary 5.6. Uh, W4SRK from K0LWC. Roger, Roger, Matt. K0LWC. W4SRK. All right, this is K0LWC on the YouTube live stream. Streaming live on YouTube on the K0LWC uh, YouTube channel. Just look up K0LWC on YouTube and you will find the live stream and you can actually watch yourself try to bust in here and make a contact into the K0LWC ham shack. So with that, I will be uh, QRZ uh, for any station anywhere. 
Let's go ending in Ontario. Yeah, this is November, Mike 1, Ontario. Hello, this is Joe, Julia, and Oscar Echo. Uh, we're on the little brother of the 7300, which is a 7000. Victor Alpha 3, Romeo, Romeo, Foxtrot. Red uh, dipole. Anyway. Stand by, VA3. All right, fantastic. Yeah, well, uh, I said you're sounding amazing. The little brother's doing pretty darn awesome out here in Minnesota today. Uh, you're a solid 5 and 9, 59 here in the northwestern suburbs of Minneapolis, Minnesota. We're just running 100 watts into a 93-foot dipole at 50 feet. Over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, my off-center uh, bed is about 60 on one end and about 40 on the other, and um, I guess it's doing all right. Anyway, you got a lot of people, so I'll back over to you. Uh, K0 LWC, November Mike 1, Ontario, in the state of Connecticut. All right, thanks so much for Connecticut. That's always a toughie for me for some reason out here. I'm not sure why. Uh, you may be one of my first Connecticut's. I'm not sure. But uh, thanks so much for coming in there, uh, Joe. Really appreciate it. You're sounding good from Fox November 31. Uh, November Mike 1 Oscar from K0LWC. And with that, I'll open it up to any station anywhere. QRZ. Victor Alpha 3, Romeo, Romeo Foxtrot in uh, Font Hill, Ontario. Uh, very good, Joseph. You're coming in 5 and 9. Roger, Roger. Yeah, thank you. I've got quite a bit of a noise up here. You're coming in like about a 5, 4, and 9. I'm uh, running uh, 1,500 watts there, so maybe I'm getting through there. But uh, I just thought I'd break in to make sure it's still working. So thank you for the comeback, and you have a very good day. So 7 threes from Victor Alpha. Yeah, it's doing a wonderful job for you. You peaked 20 over S9. The QS Bravo brought you down to about a 5 and 7, but you didn't drop below that. So uh, the extra power is certainly helping. But we got you down to the logbook. You're sounding good from Fox November 03. Victor Alpha 3, Romeo Romeo Fox from Kilo 0, Lima Whiskey Charlie. Yeah, 73, good DX. Uh, QRZ. Uh, ending Zulu November. Kilowatt Delta 9, Juliet Zulu November. All right, Kilowatt Delta 9, Juliet Zulu November from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. I believe, and I'll revise if I have to, I believe you're 5 and 8, 58 here, Josh, into uh, Minnesota. Over. Roger, Roger, thanks for the 5 and 8. I had you 5 7, 5 7 here in the Southern Indiana. All right, thank you for Southern Indiana. You're sounding good up this way. We're just running 100 watts into a dipole at about 50 feet on this end. Over. Roger, Roger. I'm running 100 watts on an inset halfway meter. Uh, 1,500 uh, watts would be nice right about now. Awesome. Uh, your NFED is doing a fantastic job for you, so uh, don't change a thing. It's doing awesome. So uh, 73, Josh, uh, we'll catch you down the log. KD9JZN from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. And with that, we'll uh, open it up to any station anywhere. You can uh, tune into the uh, YouTube live stream on the K0LWC YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and look up K0LWC. With that, QRZ. The Kilo 4 Bravo. The Kilo 4 Bravo again. All right, Kilo 4, Bravo Delta Oscar from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. I got you about a 4 and 4, 44 with some noise here on my side uh, here in Minnesota. Over. So 5759 is giving me. All right, thank you so much for the five and seven, five and nine, uh, John, I appreciate it. Like I said, you're about a 44, uh, dropping down to a 33 with my noise floor here in Minnesota. But uh, you are making it through. We got you down in the logbook. Uh, thanks so much for the contact from Fox Mike 07. Uh, Kilo 4, Bravo Delta Oscar from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. 73. All right, with that, uh, I'll be QRZ. Yankee. 
uh, the Victor Echo 3, Fox Bravo Yankee. Uh, welcome back, Cameron. No, this is Matt. Uh, we just had a contact, oh, I don't know, about 30 minutes ago. Sure, no problem, Cameron. Uh, Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie. <laughs> Cameron's back in here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no problem, Cameron. Uh, I'm glad to make another contact. A second one. We're, we still got propagation. That's a good thing. Uh, with that, again, you can watch live on YouTube from the K0LWC uh, YouTube live stream. Just search out K0LWC on YouTube and you'll find it. With that, I'll be QRZ. Victor Alpha 3, Uniform Papa. Victor Alpha 3, Uniform Papa, 20 over. Tony Ober, uh, Kennel Up Zero, uh, Lima Whiskey, Charlie, Victor Alpha 3, Uniform Papa. The name here is Scott, Sierra, Charlie, Oscar, Tango, Tango. And we're located on the North Shore of Lake Ontario, Fox, November, Charlie Alpha. Oh, I got to look at my map to see where the uh, north side of Lake Ontario is now. I should know my geography of Canada better than this. Well, Lake Ontario is pretty big. We're about uh, 70 miles due north of uh, Rochester. Okay, yep, that's helpful. And uh, what's my sudden report there on your end? Uh, I have a feeling that you got a little bit of power or one heck of an antenna on your side. Hopefully I'm coming close to the excellent signal you're giving me, over. Well, you're, uh, so there's a little QSB, but you're between five and 10, you're never below five. All right, fantastic. Yeah, there's some QS Bravo here on this end. We're just running 100 watts into a uh, 93 foot long dipole at about 50 feet at the center conductor uh, here on this end, over. Okay, we have a 7610 going into a PW1 oh. at about 500 watts. And, uh, 7610. But we are well above Lake Ontario, so that helps. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I said, you, just beautiful audio. And uh, yeah, you got the big brother there to my 7300, and it just sounds fantastic. Are you using the stock hand mic or are you using a, uh, an external uh, you know, studio broadcast mic? Nope. All, uh, all I come here is the Sierra Mic 50 microphone, the uh, 7610. Nice. I had for many years a Pro 3 outfit. Uh, I really liked it. still my favorite radio, but uh, recently we wanted to get into remote, so we went with the 7610. But it's uh, all I come. Yeah, thanks for the contact. KD9JZN, thanks for coming in there. You sounded great. Yeah, awesome. It sounds like you're all ICOM, which is uh, amazing. Uh, I'm a big ICOM fan when it comes to HF. Uh, I said I would like to do the 7610. It's either the 7610 or the Flex for me. The 7300 got me hooked on uh, you know, having a waterfall. So now it's either I step up to the Big Brother or go to Flex. Well, that's great. It's all SDR. And you know what? I've, I've spoken to so many 7300s. That's a, an amazingly popular radio for good reason. It is. Yep, best bang for the buck. You can't beat it. It's an amazing rig, easy to use, fantastic audio, both on transmit. It's a sensitive receiver, it's, and it's got just popular features built into it. So, no, I, I love my 7300, as most people do. Uh, so, again, thanks so much, Scott, for the contact. Again, you're sounding beautiful down here, 20 over, just holding steady the entire time, uh, even though there is some QSB, but you're just 20 over the whole time. So, uh, a great pipeline up to Canada today. You're sounding good from Fox November 1-4. With that, I'll say 73, we got you in the logbook. Uh, VA3UP from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. Okay, I hope to catch you again, 73 for, for now, VA3UP. All right, QRZ. November 5, Tango Tango Mike. Number 5. November 5, Tango Tango Mike. Hey, uh, good afternoon, name here is Bill Bravo, India, Lima, Lima, located in Germantown, Maryland. That's about 20 miles northwest of Washington, D.C. Oh, the QSB just took a big dip there. Was that a 4x5 for the signal report? 45, did I get that right? QSL, QSL, QSL. All right, QSL, you're 5 and 6, 56, but the QSB brings you down to about a 3x3 a three three to a 3x2 with my noise floor here. But when you're in there, you're a 56 into Minnesota. Over. Five and seven now. Uh, 
Well, it's doing a great job for you. Uh, you're peaking there five and seven now, so I just revised you there in the logbook to a 57. It sounds fantastic. Um, I wouldn't change a thing. And the audio is really nice and crisp and sharp and good, so that'll break some pileups as well. So, yeah, I think you got it sounding just right. All right, I'll say 73. Keep working down the log here and see who else I can find out there. But thanks so much for tuning in on YouTube. Glad you're able to find the live stream, and uh, thanks for the contact out there in Maryland. N5 TTM from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, 73. All right, Kilowatt Zero, Lima Five and eight. All right, uh, take care out there on the East Coast. Uh, QRZ. Hi, Kilo, Charlie Ooh. 1, Charlie Whiskey Whiskey. There's a big signal, Kelvin. Kilo Charlie 1 uh, again. Kilo Charlie 1, Charlie Whiskey Whiskey. Yeah, Kilo Charlie 1, and I think there might be somebody else there who's also a KC1. But uh, again, Kilo Charlie 1, Charlie Whiskey Whiskey, the CWW, 20 over S9 into Minnesota. Yeah, fine. You're doing about the same, but about 15 over, at least when it's reading. Huge so signal, so huge signal. Vicinity, uh, nice uh, audio and so forth. Just a quick exchange with you, and uh, you're uh, coming into Boston very well. Name is Herb. Hotel England Radio Bravo. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much, Herb. Like I said, you're just booming in here at 20 over. You drop down to maybe a 5 and 8 on the low end of the QS Bravo. But no, you're sounding great. I'm located about 20 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis, just running 100 watts into a dipole at 50 feet uh, from an ICOM 7300, so nothing particularly special uh, on this end. Just curious, before I let you go, uh, what's the setup there on your end? Over. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, just uh, before I tell you, um, are you running... Uh on the 7300 or just straight through? Yep, I got the compression uh, set currently to a 2, a 2 out of 10. Yeah, I see. Okay, yeah, I have a, I'm not using a 7300 at the moment, but I got one in front of me, and I usually set it around 2 or one. Yeah, 22, 23 that, over S9 either. here from and Boston. I'm, I'm, uh, preferable, I use uh, some of my older equipment because uh, I prefer the audio incoming and outgoing one is a little better. I'm using a, um, a TS-870, an older uh, Kenwood 870. Mm, it sounds good. With, uh, front older end, radio. Uh, uh, extra speech processing. And I'm driving a Kenwood uh, 922A amplifier at full power. Oh, yeah. Um, 1,500 uh, watts certainly helps. At about 65 uh, feet. And right? a beam at 65 feet. Oh, okay. Well, that explains everything then. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you have a fantastic antenna and you're putting down some good power. And uh, yeah, I mean, it just sounds phenomenal. Uh, it's like you're just sitting here right next to me in the shack. So a huge, huge signal from Boston. But all right. Uh, thanks so much, Herb. I got you down in the logbook. Again, you're sounding beautiful. Uh, 20 to 25 over S9. Uh, KC1CWW from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. 73 from the Twin Cities, Herb. We'll do one more here on 20 meters and we're going to try some other bands, higher bands. Maybe we'll go to 40, maybe we'll go to 17, uh, who knows. But uh, let's open it up uh, here. One more contact on 20 meters. Uh, you can tune in on YouTube on the K0LWC YouTube channel. Just look for K0LWC on YouTube, search it out, you'll find it. Uh, so we'll do one more contact here and then we're going to QSY to another band. With that, uh, I'll be QRZ to any station, anywhere. Uh, I think it's ending in whiskey. I got two of you really strong. I'm going to try to knock out both of you really quick. Both ending in whiskey, stand by, uh, I think it's Zulu whiskey. Victor Alpha 3, Zulu whiskey, over. All right, Victor Alpha 3, Zulu whiskey. You're 5920 over into the state of Minnesota in the northern U.S. Okay, very good. Yeah, I've been looking along for a couple of minutes, playing around with a vertical antenna here, and you are also about 15 to 20 over S9 here into central Ontario. I know you're trying to scoot off to another band, so I won't keep you very long. Name here is Jim, over. 
Yeah, fantastic, Jim. Wonderful audio, by the way. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and like I said, a great signal. I'm about 20 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota, here in the northern U.S., uh, just running 100 watts into a dipole at 50 feet. Just curious, before I pick up the other station, what was your uh, audio setup there? Okay, I run a thing called virtual audio. I'm on in a non-10. Boy, that sounds good. Really good audio. And I, uh, I, uh, really oh, boomy. Oh, through the computer and then feed it back to the rig via a virtual audio cable over. Oh, I mean, it just sounds phenomenal. Just, I mean, a lot, very boomy, very studio-like. I mean, it just sounds great. Very easy to uh, to listen to and rag chew on that audio. So just great stuff. All right, I'm going to pick up the other station, ending in whiskey, and then I'm going to jump. But thanks so much. We got you in the logbook again. You're just, uh, you're, you're booming. 20 over here into the state of Minnesota. Uh, VA3ZW73 from K0LWC. K0LWC, you sound phenomenal here into central Ontario with your 100 watts. Good luck, sir. Have a What's great up, John? afternoon. Thank you. Yep, take care. And the other station that was in there ending in whiskey? Victor Alpha T Alpha from Stop Whiskey. How do you got the hours? I got Victor Alpha 3 question mark, I believe. Victor Alpha T Alpha Fox Stop Whiskey. There we go. Victor Alpha 3 Alpha Fox Whiskey. Also from Ontario, boy, it must just be a straight string between Ontario and Minnesota right now. Uh, very good to hear you. You're 20 over, 20 over into the state of Minnesota. Over. Oh, fantastic. Well, I said, yeah, you're sounding great. And uh, what was the radio on your end? It's on the radio, ICOM 751, over. Okay, well, it's sounding good there. And, uh, yeah, I said your signal is just beautiful. And, uh, again, I'm sorry if I missed it. What was the power you're running again? I'm running barefoot at the moment. into Delta Wolf power. Oh, yeah, I said we must have some excellent propagation between us then because, yeah, your signal is gorgeous out here for running 100 watts as well. In fact, I'll do a little test here to see just how good it is. I'm going to turn down my power. All right, here I'm running at uh, 10 watts, uh, 10 watts. What did my signal do down to uh, 10 watts? Over. It's about 5, uh, five 6, something like that. Still audible. Still about the noise level. Uh, of course, I had to strain my ears to kind of copy. <laughs> 10 watts and still like S6. Excellent. That's awesome. Yeah, I said there's obviously some good conditions between us here uh, in from Ontario into Minnesota. Uh, again, the name is Matt Mike Alpha Tango Tango. And if you didn't catch that, I'm about 20 miles northwest of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, and I said, yeah, you're just booming in here from Fox November 1-5. But all right, I'll say 73. I'm going to change bands here and try to pick up some other contacts. So I'll say 73, but uh, beautiful signal. You're going to make some more contacts. That much I know for sure. VA, VA3 AFW from Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, a 73 from the northern U.S. Yep, take care, 73. Uh, this is K0LWC, and I'll be uh, QSY to, let's go 17 meters. K0LWC. All right. We are going to try out 17 meters, guys, and 17 meters is 18 megahertz. We're going to see what we can do there. 20 meters is just fantastic. As you can see, I hop on there, and it's just a pileup, and I can keep working them for an hour, two, three hours, and just keep going and going and going. So, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, Gene. Good afternoon. Great to hear you down there in New Mexico. Uh, Craig, what's going on? John, we're just making some contacts, John. Just working a little HF today here from the shack. Um, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, oh, Kelvin, yeah, over four wide. I believe that he was really wide because, I mean, he sounded like he was just, he had this boominess to his audio. You could just tell it was, it was cranked wide uh, for sure. I wish it was more in the three range because nothing drives me more insane than having somebody with like super wide audio. So I'm gonna try and go to 17 meters. So if any of you have an HF radio, uh, and if you have an antenna that's suitable for 17, let's give it a shot. If you wanna try to, uh, <laughs> John, not supposed to talk to Canada. Um, well, I said, they don't want us talking to them, I think, because if we talk in their direction, we're gonna end up spitting COVID in their direction. But uh, 
If you have 17, give it a shot. I'm gonna see what I can raise up on 17. It's been really good for DX. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we find some DX out here on 17. If you have a frequency that you wanna try with me here in Minnesota, drop it in the chat uh, over here on the side and we can actually try to make contact here on the air. So if you're like Kansas, uh, you know, central US, we probably could do 40 meters in the daytime and it would probably work. So if you have a 40 meter antenna, again, just let me know the frequency, we can give it a shot. Uh, wide audio, so wide audio means um, just exactly how much bandwidth in the frequency uh, spectrum that your audio actually takes up. Uh, generally speaking, you don't want it wider than three uh, kilohertz because anything wider than that, like you go beyond three, you start bleeding over into other frequencies and you take up too much spectrum and people get angry and they don't want to notch you out all the time. So you definitely want to try to stay like under three is usually the goal. Uh, and he was like way beyond that. So he's taking up more spectrum with his audio signal. Let's try 17 here. See what's out there. Let's take a look. I mean, FT8 sounds great. I'm getting S8, S9 on FT8 right now. I see some signals here on the waterfall, so I'm definitely getting big signals. Here's somebody 18153. All right, I can't hear whoever he's talking to. It could be DX. Let me tune up here. Get my wire tuned. There we go. Now we're tuned up. Let's just sit on this frequency to make sure it's clear, and then we'll use it. It's 18125. 18125, if you have a radio that you want to jump on with. You see my DMR radio here in the background, my uh, Anytone 878. Looks like there's some chatter going on uh, here with the guys on uh, one of the Colorado talk groups. That's ongoing. What I love about 17 meters, if you don't uh, do HF, if you're only a tech or you just haven't been on 17 very much, I live in a suburban area here in the Twin Cities, so there's a lot of just general noise, right? From commercial stuff, from my neighbors. Uh, there's just a lot of noise. So what that means is, uh, my noise floor is kind of high, especially on 40, 75, and 80. But when you get to 17, my noise floor is only about S1 or S2. And so it's a pretty quiet band, which means it's a lot easier to pull in distant DX from other countries because I can actually hear them. You know, if I lived out in the country, uh, this wouldn't be a problem because it's like whisper quiet. Um, maybe that's what Kelvin has. Uh, maybe he's lucky enough to live up a little further out of town where he doesn't have to deal with those noise issues. Uh, living here in the city, in the suburbs, we definitely have noise issues. So I love 17 because it's just a lot quieter um, than most bands. So if you want to try to make contact, drop me a comment here in the live stream. We can give it a shot. But I'm going to be on 18125, and that's where I'm going to park right now and give it a shot. Sounds like it's quiet. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? K0LWC. All right, sounds clear. Let's give her a go. I'm going to record my, uh, my CQ call again. It's one of the great features of this radio. CQ17 calling CQ, calling CQ, CQ, CQ17, CQ17 from Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, calling CQ17 meters, CQ17 meters, CQ17 meters from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, calling CQ, CQ. CQ17, CQ17 meters from kilowatt zero, Lima, Whiskey Charlie, QRZ. About 30 seconds of call and let's go. So my radio is now transmitting for me and putting out my CQ call. Let's see what we got. Richard Lyons is putting out his email address. Interesting, okay. So has anybody got 17 meters? on their radio? You got an antenna for that that you want to jump on? I wonder if Kelvin has 17 up there. Pile up. Huge. All right, let's go with the November 5 first. Huge pile up. November 5, Tango Tango Mike, you found me. Yeah, I, uh, I, I watched and I wanted to see if you could work me on 17 meters as well. Um, your signal isn't as strong on this band. Uh, I'd say you're more like about a 3x5, 3x5 here in Germantown, Maryland. 
Well, you're actually better off on this band. You're about five and seven, 57. And again, the fact that it's quieter is actually much better. So no, you're sounding great here in Minnesota. And you said I was, uh, was it three by five, is that right? Yeah, you're sounding good out this way, that's for sure. So thanks for following me up here, and uh, glad to get you down in the logbook again here on this band. Uh, 73, QRZ? Uh, kilowatt zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, QRZ? We had a crush of people, and then they all just disappeared. But, uh, so 40 meter on center fed, that's so-so on 17. Yeah, of course, Kelvin, you're not gonna be able to hear me from down here on ground wave. But, uh, yeah, I'll be curious if you can hear any of these stations on your wire. Let's see what we can get here on this next call. I like about 30 seconds on my CQ call. It gives enough people enough time to, to run into my signal and stop and hear my CQ. W4, Delta, Quebec, uh, 5 and 8 in the Minnesota. All right, awesome. Well, I'm glad we're able to work in here. I said you had a good signal here on 17. And uh, again, you probably already know this, but uh, 100 watts into a dipole at 50 feet on this end, over. Uh, Roger, well, it's sounding great. We're running here at off center fed dipole also at 100 watts, over. Yeah, I said it's doing a fantastic job. The bands are in pretty good shape, but that's uh, thanks to those sunspots that are currently facing Earth. So we have uh, them to thank. Yeah, you're sounding good from Echo Mike 90. Uh, 73, thanks for jumping in there and thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it. W4DQ from K0LWC. Uh, 73 from W4DQ. Awesome, thank you. Uh, QRZ. All right, we got another follower, Kilo Bravo Zero, Charlie Whiskey Whiskey. Uh, yeah, you're five and eight, 58 into Minnesota, Jim. Okay, I think you got the name. The name is Jim. I got that Zero call uh, in Minnesota some 30 years ago. Uh, right now I'm in Jacksonville, Florida. Over. Yeah, QSL. Uh, yeah, I'm going to revise you down to five and seven there. But no, yeah, you're sounding good here in Minnesota. Uh, I'm guessing you ran away for warmer weather. I don't blame you. And uh, what's my report there on your end down in Florida? Over. Okay, I can get you. You're fading in and out, but you came in real strong initially. I got that zero call uh, in Austin, Minnesota. Over. Yeah, well, the call sign is Kilowatt Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie. Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie. QSL? The band's up and down. For me, at least, getting out. It's not doing as well. You copy the call sign, Kilowatt Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie. Is that a QSL? I am not going to log him, unfortunately. That's, I wouldn't call that a legit contact. All right, I'm not sure what happened there. The band may have not cooperated. I'm not going to jot you down in the logbook, but we did obviously uh, make contact briefly there. Uh, so 73, and uh, let's try it again. QRZ? Uh, again, again. Uh, ending in Romeo. Yeah, Kilo Echo 5, Zulu, Romeo, Romeo. You're 57, 5 and 7 into uh, the northwest suburbs of Minneapolis. Over. Yep, I know right where you're at in Ridgeway. I used to live in Denver and uh, went through the San Juans many a times during my uh, decade in Colorado. So I know right where you're at. You're sounding good. We're just running 100 watts into a dipole at 50 feet. And uh, the name is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango Tango. Nice. He's doing pretty good. The name is Rick Romeo India Charlie Kilo. 
Yeah, well, Rich, your 75 Watson and NFED is doing fantastic there from Ridgeway. Uh, you're, again, 5758 here into Minnesota. So your NFED antenna is doing a good job. Don't, uh, don't change a thing, and your audio is nice and clear. So you have a good sound in station there from Delta Mike 95. Uh, 73, and we'll catch you further down the log. Uh, stay safe and stay healthy. KE5ZRR from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. 73 to you as well. Oh, we peaked Kilowatt about five over. Whiskey Charlie, Kilowatt One. Norway, Denmark, France, over. All right, couldn't even get to the QRZ. Uh, K1NDF, you're 5 and 9, 59 into the northwest side of the Twin Cities of Minnesota, over. Yeah, doing a good job. My name is Neil, Norway, Echo Alpha, London. We're in Framingham, Massachusetts, 20 miles west of the city of Boston. And you're doing a great job. I'm running a... Uh, running a uh, Kenwood TS2000, the uh, Kenwood, which I like very much, uh, being a blind hand that reads all the menus uh, to me and everything. Alpha 87, the antenna, a four element stepper, which is oh, step by R, good stuff. Five months, it's up uh, 70 feet over. Well, it's doing a good job for you, a great signal here. You're peaking about 10 over S9 there on that last go around. We're just running 100 watts into a 93 foot long dipole at about 50 feet at the center conductor. One leg gets up around 80 feet, the other leg's around 45, and the center is sitting at around 50. So uh, that's what we're running with here. And uh, we are live streaming right now our conversation on YouTube, on my K0LWC YouTube channel. So you can check that out there and hear yourself if you tune in quick. But a beautiful signal uh, here to Minnesota. And uh, I didn't catch it if you said it, my apologies, but uh, what was the radio again? Denver TS2000, mm. uh, which is an excellent shack in the box. Now, are you running a 7300? Yes, indeed. I am running the ICOM 7300. Uh, I, I'd love to have one of those, but uh, I stay with the King of Gear because 7300... Uh, will not read us the menus. It'll tell us frequency, mode, etc. But only the Ken only the Kenwood gear for the blind hands read the menus. All right. Oh, okay. I did not know that. That it's not as accessible as some of the radios. Well, the TS2000 the, the is a great radio. I mean, it's obviously not STR, but it's a fine, fine radio with a great receiver. So uh, you're not doing too bad in that regard. So I think it's a great one for you. But uh, with that, I'll say 73 with some other folks in there. There's a, a decent pileup. So I'll say 73, Neil. I said you're sounding great in here. Again, just a beautiful signal. Great antenna you got there, the Step IR. It's a great system. And uh, we'll catch you further down the log. Stay safe and stay healthy out there on the East Coast. Kilo 1, November Docs. November 1. Kilo, ugh, I cannot talk. I have way too many call signs by now. Kilo 1, November Delta Fox from Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. 73, Neil. 73, by the way, I was the... Uh Audio. I'm running an MC60 uh, matching desk mic, and I'm running. Uh, I'm not running the high boost. I'm running just the uh, just the uh, regular audio. How's, how's the uh, audio uh, sound? All right. The audio sounds good. I said it definitely has some compression sound to it. You sound a little bit, I mean, I want to say robotic. It's probably not the right word, um, but it sounds punchy. Um, it doesn't sound bad at all. It just sounds like it has a lot of uh, compression around it. And it's not a bad thing, but it's just noticeable. So I don't know if that's helpful for you, but no, it sounds great. Shut off the compression and uh, see what you think. Stand by. Yeah, sure. I can stand by for that. Yeah, you sound almost identical. It's like I couldn't even tell the difference. Okay. Uh, yeah, the compression is up. Uh, uh, the compression is 25 up. over S9. 25 over. Yeah, I think it's probably just because you're so darn strong. I can't tell the difference. You're 25 over S9, so it's, you're probably just overloading it so much on the receiver that uh, I really can't tell one of those small differences. But no, I think your audio sounds good. So how far did you say I am out there? Go ahead. What was that last one? What is my report? Yeah, you're 25 over S9. Oh, wow. I'm going to try another thing. Just, I'll let you go. I'm going to just go... <laughs> 
take the antenna and I'm going to... Oh, awesome. 5.7 in a Boise. Nice. It's just in time. I would like to get an Idaho station. 25 dB. Hold on. I'm just going to do this if you don't mind. Sure. I can stand by one real quick. Everybody else stand by. You got about S1 noise, which is what I love 17. Love that. It sounds like you may have went off frequency a little bit. I just see it hit the knob. That's my report now off the back. Off the back, you're about five and seven, five and eight. What did you say about five, five and seven, five and eight? Yep, you're peaking at five and eight. Okay, that's good. I'm going to bring it back on you. So I went from 25 over nine down to an S8. Wow, that's, pretty, that's really good front to back. Over. Yes, indeed it is. I said that your antenna system is working phenomenally, so uh, yeah, don't, don't change a thing with the antenna. It seems to be working perfectly for you. But all right, Neil, I'm going to say 73. A lot of other stations out there I want to get to. Uh, so again, have a great day out in the East Coast to stay healthy, and we'll catch you down the log. K1NDF from K0LWC. 73, Neil. Yep, 73, Neil. Uh, take care. Uh, QRZ? All right, we'll try it again all in unison. Uh, QRZ? Kilo 4, Bravo Delta Oscar. All right, Kilo 4, Bravo Delta Oscar. Got you again here, John. Sounding good. All right, I switched rigs. Uh, I just got a, uh, picked up a new to me Yesu uh, FT897, and that was what I was on on 40 meters, but my little Yesu FT450 is just, uh, that's my go-to radio. I just love that little radio. So uh, I switched back over to make the 17-meter contact because I know it plays well. Well, it's doing phenomenally. You're about 5.7 to 5.8 here in Minnesota, and the audio sounds excellent. Uh, I'm running a, uh, an in-fed dipole made out of electric fence wire. So... Uh, my Which antenna does not tune is, uh, up on uh, six meters, the, uh, unfortunately, I John. I have a two-element six-meter uh, beam i got to put up yet. But you're coming in here about uh, 10 over, so uh, good signal here in the central Virginia. Yeah, thank you so much, John. Thanks for the 10 over. I appreciate it. Glad that I'm still putting a good signal down your way. The same for you. You're sounding fantastic and good audio, so uh, no complaints there. Everything's working perfectly. Uh, 73, K4BDO from K0LWC. 73, and thanks for, thanks for the contact on both bands. K4BDO. Yep, take care. Uh, QRZ? Uh, the KJ4? All right, Kilo Japan 4, Yankee Sugar. We got you that time, David. Uh, you're about 5 and 7, 57 here into my 7300, although I'm sure 60 over on YouTube. <laughs> but no, you're sounding good uh, at your 5 and 7 there, over. Yeah, Roger, Matt. I had to turn the TV off for a minute. The monitor off. It was getting too confusing. So 5 9 into uh, central North Carolina. My name is David, and uh, it's fun watching you there for a minute. It's a nice setup. Oh, thank you so much, David. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And uh, everybody else out there on their Sunday afternoon here at the end of the holiday week, that's awesome. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, you're sounding good. I'm sure you probably heard by now, but just running the 100 watts into a 93-foot dipole at 50 feet from the 7300. So uh, I'm glad that I'm having a big signal even just on 100 whiskeys. Over. Yeah, it's doing a fine job. I'm also running barefoot. I'm probably putting out somewhere around 90 watts. It's an ICOM 706 Mark 2G that's Ooh. about 20 years old. That's one of my uh, favorite radios. Home brew, all-center fit dipole sitting up at about 50 feet. Uh, and the legs don't go straight out there at an angle, depending on where the trees are. So anything I can radiate a good, uh, is a bonus for me. So I'll let you pick up a few more. Uh, just wanted to get in there and take a look at the picture and, and uh, enjoy the chat, uh, Matt. So 73, uh, uh, I hope it's not too cold up in Minnesota. Uh, K W K zero L W C K J four Y S seventy three. 
Yeah, thanks so much for the contact on this band as well, David. Yeah, it's not too cold yet. It's about 35, 36 degrees in sunshine today. Yesterday was 50. And by the way, the ICOM 706 Mark II G is my all-time favorite radio. That was my first HF radio when I first got licensed. It was my first radio period, really, when I got my license many years ago, like 13 years ago. And the radio got stolen out of my vehicle in Denver. I am so sad that I lost that radio because it's a phenomenal little radio. It reminds me actually a lot of the 7300 in some ways of which the audio reports are always strong. It just took a beating and kept on going. I absolutely love that radio. So uh, never let it out of your sight because uh, that's going to be one that people are going to want to get their hands on for a long time. But all right, David, uh, great to have you here in the logbook on 17 as well. And uh, thanks for watching here on YouTube. Hopefully you're subscribed to the channel. And uh, I'll say 73, uh, KJ4YS from K0LWC, 73. Okay, man, thanks. I have a 706 Mark II, as well. And, um, yeah, they uh, stay in the house right now. I do run some mobile, but right now they're desk-bound. So, 73, KJ4YS. Yep, take care, David. QRZ? 04 India, Charlie, Quebec. Uh, Kilo 4, India, Charlie, Quebec. Uh, you're 5 and 5, 55 here into Minnesota. Roger that. Just riding 100 watts there to you. And when I come to the Icon side of 300, going into that same Jeep out of the V that you're on. Uh, mine's at an inverted V of about 55 feet. Just wanted to try to get that to you. Got somebody moving into the side. So I figured I better get you now, or you're just going to be going into the noise, yeah, QSL. Well, you're making it in there at 5 and 5. A little QSB down to about 5 and 3, but no, you're sounding good. Uh, what's my report down in Georgia? I come back for that. Uh, I heard the down in Georgia. What's that? Yeah, so what's my report down in Georgia on your end there? Yeah, absolutely. It's everywhere. Uh, we're also spiking with COVID up here in Minnesota, so we're trying to stick close to home. Uh, that's for sure. Well, I said, it's, it's great to make a contact with you. You're pretty much running the same station as I am, although I have my antenna as a flat top configuration and not an inverted V. But no, you're doing a good job from Georgia. Again, you're peaking five and five here in the northwest suburbs of Minneapolis, Minnesota. So uh, 73, we got you down in the log book. Stay healthy and stay safe, and we'll catch you down the log. Uh, thanks so much, Charles. K4ICQ from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. Thanks, you, Matt. Hope to get more time with you to be Seventy-three uh, QRZ. All right, we're gonna take a little break. I'm just gonna put a quick call and let people know this, and we're gonna try to contact with John. John is in the chat, guys. You can see John in the chat. He lives not that far away from me. We're going to try to make a contact on 10 meters. Uh, those folks here on 17, I'm going to run to 10 meters really quick to make a quick contact on 10 meters, but then I'll be back on this frequency in about three to four minutes. So uh, if you want to make a contact, hang tight. I will be back. I'm just going to QSY for a moment to 10 meters on 28.4 and then come back. This is K0LWC QSY to 28.4 temporarily. All right, John, get your radio ready. We're going to go to 28.4, folks, 28.4. I'm going to go art, get my rig tuned up here. And I am sure you know, I am going to hear John just fine. I hear some activity, actually. All right, so uh, KA0KMJ, K0LWC. I'm hearing DX here on the calling frequency, guys, on 10 meters. Very light, but I can hear DX in there. KA0KMJ, K0LWC, 28.4. All right, John, where are you at? Uh, KA0KMJ, K0LWC. What is the delay there? K0LWC, K0KMJ. Yeah, let's go to 407. Roger, roger. Uh, KA0KMJ, K0LWC. 
All right, 28.407. Yeah, we got you five and eight here from just down the road. What would you say, John, about three or four miles away? Yeah, you're about, you're about S9, nine here. Remember, I got the attic antenna here. I'm limited. But it, YouTube's really, you sure the hell of a leg on the YouTube. A heck of a leg there. Ah, uh, yes, the wonders of technology. It's, uh, there's probably what, I would guess seven to ten seconds would be my assumption. So far on YouTube, you haven't heard me yet. Uh, KZ0, KZ0, KZ0. You're still calling for me. <laughs> yeah, that is a heck of a leg. But, uh, yeah, well, I said now that people know where we're at, they're probably just finding out that we're on 28.407. Uh, we'll have to see if there's anybody else out there that can hear us. I mean, uh, I'm, how does your antenna do now that conditions are improving? Does your attic antenna do pretty decent? Yes, it does, but the 17 meters, I can't go that high. I think I can go up to 40, but there's a lot of noise. I get a lot of noise in that attic antenna. It doesn't, that doesn't work out very good. It, it works, but it's, uh, uh, it's, I've, I've, been, I've been on six, it, I've been on six and 10 meters, but it's really a limited way you can do it. There's a lot of noise in there. Oh yeah, I said I imagine so, and uh, it looks like we might have Chris in here as well. Uh, you can hear he can hear you, but cannot hear me. Interesting, and he's only six miles away. That is interesting. And Kelvin up in Centerville, three to four seconds on the delay. Okay, that's interesting. You cannot hear me, but I mean, uh, with your attic antenna, is that that's got to be a horizontally polarized signal, then, right? All right, let's see if we can get uh, Chris in here. And uh, I don't know the call sign for Chris off the top of my head. I must have missed it. But uh, K0LWC here with KA0KMJ, Chris uh, KB0WJQ. All right, hop in there and see if, uh, see if John can hear you. Can you hear him there, John? I can hear him. Can you hear him? No, I can't hear it. Just that your silence is all I hear. All right, Chris, uh, KB0WJQ, K0LWC. Uh, I can hear you. You're probably about a three by zero, three and zero. I can hear you, though, uh, with where you're at. And uh, John's call is KA0KMJ. Uh, FT uh, 991A 100 watts. I try it again, Chris. Yeah, I don't think he can hear you, Chris, but I can hear you. You're about S1 at my place. You're probably hearing me off YouTube, but uh, yeah, you're S1 here. You're probably coming right off the end of my dipole. But uh, yeah, John sounds like he can't hear you. Uh, Chris is out there, and uh, which is Chris's call is KB0WJQ. He's out there in Cochran, John. Oh, well, Cochran? It's Cochran. What's he running for power? Is he running 100 watts? You're running 100 watts, Chris? Yep, he's running 100 watts out there. That's weird. I don't hear. I can't, I can't hear him at all. Okay. Well, Tim, you can work in here, I guess. Okay, if you're okay, MJ, I'll let you go back to it. All right, we got the cameo from, uh, from John, KA0KMJ, here on the live stream. Uh, none other than the, uh, the blowtorch of the Minneapolis St. Paul area when it comes to 70 centimeter repeaters. <laughs> So uh, thanks for the contact here on 10, John. I probably should put you in the logbook, make it official, right? 
I guess I got to put you both in the logbook. I didn't do either here. So let me put you in there for 10. And we might actually hang out and work 10 meters. I mean, I was hearing some DX on uh, dot 400. I don't know if you were hearing that same thing, John. Yeah, that's probably why. And Chris, uh, Chris, you should hop in the chat and let uh, let us know what your antenna setup is out there. I'll be curious to know, but drop it in the YouTube chat. Let us know what your antenna is. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing your attic antenna is probably why you're just not hearing them. Because if I'm getting them S1, it, if you're getting some attenuation with your uh, setup there, John, it's probably why you're not getting them. But I am putting you both in as official contacts, and I will give you the 5-1 there, Chris. Okay. Very good. And, uh, all right, Chris is running a homebrew fan dipole at 25 to 35 feet. Okay, interesting. That is very interesting that I'm not hearing as, as well as I thought. But, all right, I'm going to jump to 400, guys, and see what I can stir up. I definitely heard some DX out there on 400, so let's go down there and give that a shot. But thanks for both of the contacts here on 10 meters and uh, for jumping in here in the live stream. Uh, this is K0LWC QSY to 28.4. K0KMJ clear. All right, guys, let's see what we can hear on dot four. I heard some very faint stations. I'm going to re-record my, uh, my, my call here. Let's do number three. Uh, CQ, CQ with CQ10 calling CQ10, CQ10 meters. Calling CQ10 meters, CQ10 meters from Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie. Calling CQ10, CQ10 from Kilowatt Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie, QRZ. All right, let's put out that call. And we'll see what we get here on 10 meters. 10 meters has been pretty good, but like not quite up into the upper Midwest this week. It's been like Ohio, Illinois, Kentucky, and then further south and east where the uh, MUF's been high enough for that. Tom's not hearing us way up in North Dakota. All right, nothing. Try it again. All right, so I'm calling on 28.4. So if you have 10 meters, flip that radio on. All right, we'll give one more call. I think 10 is very marginal. Again, I can hear this like distant voices way down in the noise, but unless somebody comes through that the propagation is there, you get lucky. Nobody really like jumps on like 10 and like listens. They always think it's closed. All right, one more call. My Ham Shack hotline phone is actually right down below this camera. You can't see it, it's just out of the shop, but it's right in front of me actually. All right, nothing doing on 10, but you know how I check for 10 meters to be open? Uh, I go to my favorite band of all time, even though it's gonna make some people mad, 11 meters. 11 meters is my way to always just go and, and listen to check if 10's probably open. Uh, and Alyssa, I use QRZ.com. I don't use a piece of software. I just go to QRZ.com and that's my main source of truth logbook. And then I sync up with EQSL and LOTW, but I use QRZ.com. Uh, I don't use software unless I'm doing a contest. So let me go to 11 meters here. And that is always how I check. I go to the Super Bowl. Anybody know the Super Bowl frequency is? You'll gain extra brownie points if you do. The Super Bowl on 11 meters. That's where I go and check. Let's see what's going on down here. There they are. Yep, see, it's like there's some opening somewhere. They're only coming in S3 to S5. And they're fading. 27.025. 27.025. Channel 6. 
the Super Bowl of CB Radio. So if you're hearing strong signals on this, the band's at least open. Doesn't mean it's good, right? I'm getting S3, S5, S6. There's some fading on here, so it's a little suspect. Oh yeah, Anton, 27, triple five. Oh, I mean, people know about the triple nickel here in the United States as well. There's a lot of people that free band their radios and go to 27.555. Is 27555 like an actual CB radio frequency that's authorized up in your neck of the world? Or is it like a, no one's supposed to use it? Here, you're not supposed to have, no radio should do that, but they, you know, they modify their radios and go to 27.555. But how is that in, in Russia, in the EU? Like, is it an actual, like, usable frequency or is it free banding? I'll be curious to know that. Yeah, Todd, you'll love Hamshack Hotline. It's fun to play with. There's the S9 frequency. This just makes me nostalgic, guys, because I grew up in 11 meters. Like, I did my whole life in 11 meters. Um, let's go to 27.385. That's the sideband frequency, 38 lower. We can hear stuff, so... Again, that tells me that 11, 10 meters is open. It's just there's not many people there uh, listening because they all think it's closed all the time. But yeah, I am hearing something on 38 lower sideband. Not very much though. It's like, I guarantee you only like there's, there's some opening somewhere in the US. I just don't know where. And then everything else is like very weak and distant. But there's somewhere in the country right now that between Minnesota and wherever that is, is open. I just don't know where that is. No, nope, there's Radio Jamaica right there. Jamaica on 38 lower sideband. That, that would have been a cool one back in the day when I used to have my big old 5 ace wave vertical. Um, that would have been an awesome contact to have. All right, let's go back to 17 meters, guys. If you have a frequency you want to try, let me know. Uh, someone's on my frequency now. I'll have to find a new one. But uh, that's right. You got to get on there on 38 lower sideband. You got to have a Roger beep. If you don't have a Roger beep, then you just ain't packing any heat on 38 lower sideband. You get out there and hello, CQ land. Hello, CQ land. Absolutely. John knows what's going on. And uh, okay, let's show that. Antonio, I'll put yours through. 27,275. Awesome. 2001, oh man, I, the late 90s for me was like my CB radio days when I was a kid. I wasn't even in high school yet, but my dad was big into 11 meters. We had it in our car, we had a base station. We had, a, uh, we had an amplifier. Um, and so that was just what I grew up doing, and that's where, you know, that a lot of that got me into the ham radio, uh, much of it, so. All right, let's find a new frequency here on 17. If you want to try a contact on another band, let me know. Um, I'm happy to jump around if you want to try 40, if on the short stuff. <laughs> John, what's my, C my CB call? My CB handle? Well, my, my actual, when I was shooting skip, as it were, um, yeah, Travis, we can do 40 meter to Wisconsin. Kelvin, pick up groceries. All right, catch you later. Thanks for hanging out, Kelvin. I appreciate all the, uh, the chatter in the chat. I appreciate it, it was awesome, thank you. Um, so when I was shooting Skip, I was 786 Wisconsin. And that was the month I was born and the year I was born. So July of 1986, I was 786. Travis, 40 meters, let's give it a shot before I jump on 17 here. So let me find a good frequency for us. Let me tune up on 40. Let me drop down. Let's go right about here. There we go. Okay. Let's do, and now I have a high noise floor, which is tricky with 40 meters, thanks to my neighbors and the sheer amount of stuff they have in their house. Let's do 72.95. Sounds open to me, Travis. 7295. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? K0LWC. 
Sounds open. Yes, it is an LDG AT200. It works uh, great for, you know, if you're just running 100 watts, it's a great little tuner. All right, this is Kilowatt Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie on 7.295. November Delta Zero. Yeah, I said five and nine, Tom. Five and nine, sounding great from Jamestown. Yeah, real, real strong signal up here too, and uh, getting an echo, of course. So I'll let you try for someone else. Andy Zero T. Yeah, I say you're about 10 over on that one. Though, so you're sounding fantastic. Uh, it does not surprise me that uh, 40 meter daytime would be perfect for us from where you're at in Jamestown. Uh, the short stuff on 40. So no, you sound absolutely great. Uh, so thanks for that quick contact, and I'll uh, get you down here in the logbook. Uh, great to hear you. Great to have you riding along here on YouTube today. Well, thanks for letting me in. It's surprisingly strong, actually, so I didn't expect that. Hey, I'll take it. Conditions are good today. We're, uh, we're getting the benefit of all those wonderful sunspots. All right, uh, we'll see if uh, Travis from Wisconsin is in there as well. This is Kilowatt Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie on 7.295. Uh, QRZ, QRZ from Kilowatt Zero, Lima, Whiskey, Charlie. Oh, Travis, you got noise, okay. Uh, W9HAX from Kilowatt Zero, Lima, Whiskey, Charlie. Yeah, I got about S5 noise here, Travis. It's pretty noisy. What's your noise floor there where you're at in Wisconsin? All right, no dice, I'm going to QSY to 17 meters, K0LWC on 7.295. Okay, let's tune up back over here. All right, we're back to 17 meters, guys. I'm going to go for about another 30 minutes or so i think and then uh, i gotta hop upstairs and my son will probably be waking up from his nap so my radio time will come to an end all right i'm gonna try 18.143 18.143 let's just make sure that this is set up with where we need it looks like we're good Yeah, I said I'm glad you're uh, you're enjoying watching it there, NCT. That's awesome. So if you have any questions, NCT, don't be afraid to drop them in the comments. Everyone here is very nice. I'm happy to answer anything. There's no dumb questions about anything that is, again, new or you wondered about. I'm always happy to, to throw at anything uh, and try to answer questions. All right, let's try 18.143, guys. Here we go. I want to put out my CQ call again. I love this feature of this radio. If you've been watching for a while, you've heard me say it. The uh, automatic playback of your CQ call, it really does save your voice. Oh, Antonio, so you want me to go ahead and sign your uh, QRZ? Is that what you're looking for? All right, here we go. Two seconds. All right, nothing there. We'll try it again. We can also take a look at the DX propagation maps and see how it looks out there right now on 17. If you've never used it, it's a great site called dxmaps.com. I highly recommend it. This is what it looks like. It's going to be hard for you to see, but it allows me to see what kind of propagation people are getting from different parts of the country. And again, that's dxmaps.com. All right, still nothing. We got to work our way back up to a pile up here, guys. 
Yeah, that's awesome, Todd. Uh, definitely get the general. It's a ton of fun. I mean, you can do... There's somebody else on 144, Tom. All right, I'm not hearing him. I'll let this run out and I may QSY. Um, yeah, I mean, you can do a lot with technician and have a lot of fun. I was a technician for like nine years um, and had plenty to do. And I actually operated CW as a technician, actually. All right. Let me QSY here. I'm going to try 155, guys. 18.155. All right, someone's nearby. I'm going 18.156. 18.156. All right, we're still good on the tune. Always make sure you tune before you start calling. You don't want to be way out of whack with uh, your SWR. Yeah, I said if you can knock out both at the same time, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, because extra is going to give you just some more privileges. The best thing about extra is you do get a little bit more bandwidth, a little more frequency range to work with, but some of the rarest, best DX other countries you can only get them in the U.S. with your extra class. That is one of the benefits of going extra if you like to chase other countries on HF, that you can't even get to their frequencies in that country on your general license. This is November Delta 2 Oscar, Norway, Denmark, 2 Ocean. November Delta 2 Oscar, uh, 5 and 9 into Minnesota there, Bob. Hey, uh, Matthew, uh, you know, your call sounds familiar. But uh, I don't have you on the log, so I'm not sure. Anyhow, name is Bob. QTH is Oak Island, North Carolina, a small island off the coast. Hey, you're a 5-8 to 5-9. Uh, is it uh, Matthew? Go ahead. Indeed it is, Bob. Yep, you got that right. Name is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango Tango. Boy, I got excited when you said Oak Island. I thought that it was going to be the Oak Island from the History Channel, if you've seen, <laughs> if you've seen that show. Uh, if you haven't, you should check it out. It's, a, uh, it's an island off the eastern coast of Canada. But uh, no, you sound beautiful here, 5 and 9, great audio, into the state of Minnesota. We're located about 20 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis. Uh, over. Okay, Matt, very good. And uh, you're up to a solid 5 down now. Hold on just a second. Had to turn the, All right, thanks, uh, Frank. Turn the monitor off. I was up on FT8 and uh, had the monitor on. He's about 5 okay, over well, S9. Very good. Can't hear, hear me from ITU Zone 6. Oh, that's a bummer, Frank. And, uh, now this is it. Uh, you know, I've seen the show, Matt, and I understand that there is some legend and some concept of something that's gone on in the past, but the show is boring. And, uh, <laughs> I, I can't believe Tell it to my wife. Eight now. And, uh, you know, it's completely scripted. They try to make it look like it's not scripted, but it is. And, you know, one episode, well, yeah, we dug down 10 feet, we found some wood, and then the next week, yeah, dug down another 10 feet, we found some more wood. Boring, man, you know what I mean? It sounds like I need to have you talk to my wife. <laughs> Is she a <laughs> she's a She's a fan of the show. It's one of the shows that we watch together. Uh, yeah, it's you know all those reality shows are always scripted, Bob. You know that's just the nature of reality television, and uh, it's like any of those shows. You know, it's always like every episode is going to be the big find, and then they usually say, "All right, well we found a piece of metal," and uh, on to the next episode. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I, I, you know, I find it very boring. I, I've watched a couple, uh, and uh, I have a I have a one of my son-in-laws is a little bit interested in it, but not too much. But no, that's not us. But you know, on the other hand, we do have some. some yeah, higher big signal here. We're on eighteen dot one five six. He's about five over S nine from the uh, islands of North Carolina here in the Minnesota. Well, I think if I dug my yard up, I would just find more and more dirt and nothing else. Maybe, maybe some Native American artifacts, as there was definitely a lot of Native American activity uh, here in the upper Midwest. So maybe some arrowheads. I think that's probably maybe the coolest thing that I ever found growing up as a kid in Wisconsin. Uh, and then the central part of Wisconsin was uh, finding arrowheads in the woods uh, from way back in the day. Uh, that may be in the coolest find that we ever had. But... Uh, 
And just so you know, Bob, you're actually on my YouTube live stream. Um, I'm streaming live on YouTube right now, our contact, uh, and my channel is K0LWC, just my call sign on YouTube. And so I've been streaming now for a couple of hours with some of my followers, and they've been following along here. And uh, uh, yeah, it's, it, you're here live with uh, folks from my channel watching, so uh, I appreciate your participating and being here on the air. And I said you just have a, a beautiful signal uh, coming in from the Carolinas. And uh, what's your antenna that you're running over there? Uh, I'm not hearing either of us. They're really small. And uh, so, you know, uh, vertical is just not all I can put up. Hey, if I click on the YouTube link on your uh, QRZ page, will that subscribe me or can I just listen? You can just listen. If you just click outside of that box, you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. Um, or you said just go to YouTube and click on, uh, or you know, go into the search bar and type in my call sign. You can find it that way. But yeah, you don't have to do it that way. You can just you should be able to click outside of that box, and it should just take you to the channel. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of neat, you know, where you can uh, listen into the conversation or see the other side of what's going on in the other shack. It's it's something you typically don't get in ham radio, right? Where you can actually see the other operator on the other side of the uh, RF. So it's kind of neat, and you can uh, hear your signal, which of course is is fantastic today. QS Bravo. Oh yeah, I said uh, it sounds like you've been through a, and seeing a whole lot of technology. I've been a ham for about 13 years now, and uh, you know my first radios were still, of course, all the newfangled stuff uh, before all the tube gear. But I'd like to have a collection one day of some of those old uh, tube style radios. Because I'll tell you, uh, for me, as much as the technology has advanced and it's a good thing, and the performance is much better, for my dollar, I'll tell you. There is still something really unique and awesome about the sound, the receive audio on some of those old uh, Drake style radios because you, you just can't, it's just phenomenal. Like the audio, you just can't beat it. Oh, I agree. And uh, have you been looking at my QRZ page? Uh, Matt, do you know I'm a Drake fan? I did not know that. Ah, okay. Well, I started off, uh, as I said, 62 with a bunch of you know, military surplus uh, type receivers. So, and, uh, Tom, you're not hearing either of us. Look, Interesting. Here, Must be just getting right over the I top of you. Too close. And it was superb. It was KB2 top. UEW, thanks and for hanging in here. 5-9 and M Massachusetts, thank you for that. Jason, if you can hear me, you're able to transmit, right? Like you have a workable antenna or using SDR. Oh, 100%. Uh, you know, those things have become so valuable now and, uh, you know, with the find in good condition, it's, it's becoming more and more rare. 
I said I'd like to have a few of them just for posterity, just for kind of a look back into history. And uh, I just found out from a friend of mine here that Motorola down in Schaumburg, Illinois has a museum about the history of radio. Now granted, I'm sure there's some stuff about HF in there. I wonder if they'll have any of the old tube style things in there. So uh, <laughs> I told my wife, the next time we go down to visit Chicago, once the pandemic is wrapping up, uh, we'll have to stop at the Motorola uh, HQ and tour the uh, history of radio museum. Let me tell you, uh, <laughs> Bob, she was not overly thrilled with that as a stop on our vacation. Over. Ben, I missed just the end of that. My daughter called. Could you repeat that, please? Yeah, the, the crux of it is uh, Motorola has a museum for, like, the history of radio. And uh, I'm sure they have some HF stuff down there, not just, you know, the portable and the mobile stuff that Motorola is known for. But uh, I told my wife the next time we take a vacation down in Chicago, once the pandemic is over, that we have to stop at the Motorola headquarters and tour the museum down there to learn about the history of radio. Uh, she was not as equally as thrilled as I was. Over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I understand that. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I haven't followed Motorola specifically, but that would be interesting. Yeah, I, I would do it. Go for it, you know? Nice. <laughs> but uh, my wife is uh, a total non techie uh, Back when we worked, uh, she was a registered nurse uh, and a total non techie I mean, she has an iPhone and an iPad, but she's purely a user. And uh, yeah, it's just the way it is. And no hair radio. And I even asked her to help me out sometimes, like, like help me log if I'm at a contest or something. But, you know, but she won't do it, uh, Matt. So, uh, that's the bird I live with, K0LWCMD20. <laughs> well, I must say, uh, my wife has never offered or helped me log contacts, but she did help me adjust my dipole about a week and a half ago, so I think that's a win. And we also were talking on uh, a simplex frequency on some two-way radios here uh, on an open band outside of amateurs, so I think I may have uh, got a small win there. Uh, she thought it was pretty neat to talk across the yard uh, between from one HT to another, so I'm going to count that as a win. But all right, Bob, I'm going to say 73 and catch some other contacts out there before I sign off here in about 15 minutes. Uh, thanks so much for Oak Island, North Carolina. That's a fun one. I'm jealous of your salt water out that way, as well as, I'm sure, the uh, ease of shooting some DX across the ocean. But with that, Bob, I'll say 73 from the Twin Cities. Uh, great to hear you. We'll catch you down the log. Stay safe and stay healthy. ND20 from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. It's a true island. We're surrounded by salt water, and uh, the island is really a glorified sandbar, man. So uh, yeah, the call is November Delta Two Oscar. Thanks for that, Tom. Degree salt water saturated. It makes a big difference, no doubt about it, though, man. Uh, you know, I can kind of get away with a vertical. Uh, you know, well, there's no place to put up a beam here, so it's a moot point. But anyhow, thanks very much, Matt, and thanks for the YouTube. That's that's really wonderful. I'm gonna have to check that out. 73, please stay safe and stay healthy. K0LWC and D20. All right, 73, Bob. Thanks again for the contact and beautiful signal uh, from Brunswick County, North Carolina. And again, take care. Uh, break there with ND20. This is Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, live streaming for another 15 minutes uh, live on YouTube. Just go to K0LWC on YouTube. And uh, well, hey, as long as you're there, subscribe. But you'll find the live stream and you can uh, hear yourself. Uh, here in the K0LWC Ham Shack. With that, I'll be QRZ. The Whiskey 3? Yeah, it's a Whiskey 3 Echo X-Ray, over. All right, Whiskey 3 Echo X-Ray, uh, 5 and 9, 59 into the state of Minnesota. Yeah, okay, very good. I did I missed your call there. You're 5, 9 plus here in, uh, near Philadelphia. The name is Tom. And uh, we're located 30 miles north of Philly. Go ahead. All right, thanks so much, Tom. Yeah, the call sign is Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie. The name is Matt Mike Alpha Tango Tango. And we're located about 20 miles northwest of downtown in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and a little town called Maple Grove. Just running 100 watts into a dipole at around 50 feet uh, here on this end. Over. I checked it on uh, 
on an SWR meter and a bird watt meter and everything seemed to be good. We are pumping it into a beam that's up at 54 feet, a three element five band uh, uh, crisscraft, crisscraft beam. So I wonder how the signal sounds, if the audio is okay. I'm going to turn it way up now and now I'm going to put it down about half. And just uh, if you could give me an audio report just to make sure this thing's working, that'd be good, Matt. Go ahead. Oh, no, yeah, the audio report's fantastic. You're sounding excellent. Uh, the audio is just per you know, perfectly crisp, clear. It sounds phenomenal. And I said a strong 5.9 plus signal. So, no, I think uh, whatever they have you checking out, uh, it definitely seems to be working fine. At least certainly on your antenna system it is. Uh, I wouldn't change a thing, over. Yeah, well, that's, that's the whole thing, Matt. He uh, doesn't have any antennas. He li lives in an age-restricted community, and... They don't allow antennas. He's trying to figure out if he can load up a piece of wire or, or something. So he just wanted to check down a proper antenna to make sure it's working, and I'm pretty sure it is. K0LWE from W3EX. W3EX from K0LWC. Yeah, I think it's working well, and uh, like I said, beautiful signal. With that, there's a few other out there in the pileup, so I'm going to let you go. But uh, great signal from Fox November 2-0. And uh, we'll catch you down the log. Stay healthy and stay safe that way. And uh, we'll catch you again later on another day. W3EX from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. Okay, very good, Matt. Well, thank you very much for the report. Stay safe, stay safe yourself. Uh, have a good one. QSB brought down about a 5 and 4 ish. 73, Tom. QRZ. November 1, Alpha Charlie India, 5-9 into the suburbs of Minneapolis. Well, solid copy. You're, uh, you're about 10 over S9 here to uh, Connecticut. Handle here is Terry, Tango, Echo, Romeo, Romeo Yankee. Uh, back to you, Matt. Thank you very much, Terry. We're just running 100 watts into a dipole at about 50 feet here. It's a ZS6 BKW. It's a modified G5RV. And I am streaming live on YouTube, so you can actually listen in and see our conversation here into my shack um, by just searching out my call sign on YouTube and find it there. So uh, thanks for being out there and participating. This is awesome. And uh, all my followers are sure enjoying uh, riding along here for the uh, journey this afternoon. Uh, how are things out your way uh, on the East Coast today, Terry? Well, they're better than uh, they were a little while ago. Uh, went for about a 30 mile I'm not on any HF today. nets. I am on some local VHF and UHF nets. Uh, it's supposed to hit a high today of about 55. Bright sun out. Nice looking day. Beautiful for doing stuff outside. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to rain. It's about 5 over S9 here. Your stuff uh, in here uh, uh, late tomorrow afternoon or somewhere mid afternoon, I think. Supposed to, wind is supposed to pick up and so forth. So. Uh, Remember the fire department here, volunteer, and probably going to be busy tomorrow with down power lines and branches on wires and stuff, if what they say comes true. So uh, that's it. That's it for here. Station's at K3. Uh, right now I'm running about uh, 450, 500 watts uh, to a new high-gain TH7 got put up about two weeks ago. Back to you, Matt. Uh, K0 LWC from N1ACI. And one ACI from K0LWC. Well, it sounds phenomenal, and again, a beautiful signal there from that new antenna system. And uh, yeah, well, I said I was also at one time in life a, uh, a paid-on-call firefighter and EMT. Did that for a couple of years, and then uh, quickly realized that I would uh, not be able to sustain that for multiple decades and got out of it. But thoroughly enjoyed my time and service there for a couple of years, so uh, thank you for all that you do. With that, I'll say 73, Terry. Pick up some more uh, before I have to close up shop here in about 10 minutes. Uh, so with that, I'll say 73. But again, beautiful signal here into the very uh, uh, cold, relatively speaking, uh, Twin Cities area here of Minnesota. I would like to say snow and ice, but I just see green grass right now. And I'm not complaining, believe me. N1ACI, K0LWC. Okay, uh, Matt, good enough. I'll say 73. And uh, yeah, we had frost on the ground this morning. So it was about 28 or so. Okay, good luck. Beat the bushes, see what else is out there before you have to go. 73, K0, LWC, and what ACI clear. 
Yeah, take care, Terry. This is Kilowatt Zero Limo Whiskey Charlie live streaming on YouTube. Uh, just go to YouTube and type in my call, Kilo Zero Limo Whiskey Charlie. As long as you're there, why not subscribe? You don't have to, but don't you want to see more great ham radio videos? Uh, and then you can join the live stream and watch our contact here if you can bust through the pileup. With that, I will be QRZ for any station anywhere. Ooh, what a pileup. Let's try that again again. Let's do the Kilo India 5. Kilo India 5, Kilo Mike Charlie. All right, Kilo India 5, Kilo Mike Charlie. Uh, very good. Keith 5959 here into the western suburbs of Minneapolis. Oh, yeah, you're making a uh, 59 plus over here in South Louisiana. All right, excellent. And you have great audio as well. What's the radio there on your end? Oh, it's an Icon 7300. <laughs> Of course it is. Yeah, of course, Keith. That's what I'm running here is an ICOM 7300 and just 100 watts into a dipole at 50 feet. But, uh, yep, the ICOM 7300, it always sounds good. Roger that, roger that. All right, I'm going to say 73, so you got to get on out of here. Uh, just recently subscribed to you, and I heard you on here, so I had to jump in and get on there. All right, man, 73, SKI 5, KMC clear. Well, thanks for the YouTube subscription, Keith. I appreciate it, and thanks for jumping in here with me on, uh, on the bands, and I got you in the logbook, so thank you so much. KI5 KMC from K0LWC. With that, I'll be uh, QRZ to any station, anywhere. Uh, Kilo 4, Fox Tango Uniform, go. Good afternoon. Name is Mark, and uh, I'm about to watch my golf Carolina today, over. Yeah, the Delta Mike Golf standby. All right, K4FTU, K0LWC. All right, Alvin, yeah, you're sounding great. You're 5859 into the state of Minnesota, about 20 miles northwest of Minneapolis. The name here is Matt, Mike Alpha, Tango Tango. Just so, Matt. Yeah, I just started looking at you online. Yeah, I'm about 20 miles south of Charlotte. You're solid S9 today, over. All right, copy the solid S9. Yeah, we're just running 100 watts into a dipole at 50 feet uh, from an ICOM 7300. Uh, what are you running there on your side, Alvin? Uh, ST1000D, 200 watts barefoot into a Mosley TA53M up 64 feet. Oh, well, that Mosley is doing a lot of the heavy lifting between us because you sound fantastic uh, with great audio. Uh, thanks so much for jumping in there uh, and getting the contact uh, with me here on the air. You're sounding excellent. Uh, from Echo Mary 94. Uh, 73, we'll catch you down the log. Stay healthy and stay safe. K4 FTU from K0 LWC. 73, Matt. K4 FTU clear. One Gulf Victor. All right, uh, QRZ to any station, anywhere. November 1 Gulf. November 1 Uniform Gulf Whiskey. November 1. What a pile up, guys. Gulf Whiskey. Let's go November 1 Gulf question mark. November 1, Golf, Fox Trot Delta. November 1, Uniform Golf Whiskey. Yeah, the Uniform Golf Whiskey standby. November 1, Golf Fox Delta, Ron from New Hampshire. Uh, very good signal here into Minnesota this afternoon. 5 and 8, 58 into the suburbs of Minneapolis. Over. Very good, that's great. Uh, my first time on, um, on 17 meters. Um, so glad to see a little opening going on here. Um, yeah, I'm running 100 watts into a uh, G5 RB up about uh, 25 feet up in the trees, so not, nothing too uh, overwhelming on this end, but glad I'm getting through. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, you're doing a phenomenal job there from your G5 RV and 100 watts, and uh, what's my report there on your end today in New Hampshire? Over. I'm sorry, repeat that again? Yeah, you're doing phenomenal there with your 25-foot uh, high dipole. Uh, what's my signal report there on your end in New Hampshire today? Uh, real strong signal um, going through the band. You were uh, above everything else. So, um, yeah, it's good to see some of these bands open. I think there might have been a few uh, sunspots that erupted recently or something because uh, conditions have really improved on some of the quiet bands. 
Absolutely, yeah. Make sure you tune into the upper bands because uh, the sunspot number is way high. In fact, there's a sunspot pointed right towards Earth this weekend that's double the size of Earth, and it's very active. So, yes, uh, we are officially now at the beginning of solar cycle 25. So uh, these upper bands are only going to get better and better and better. And I've had a great week all week long with them here in the upper Midwest. So uh, definitely tune up on some of these higher ones because they're really becoming active with some good DX. With that, Ron, I'll say 73. Thanks for joining me here on the YouTube live stream. Uh, you're streaming live on my YouTube channel here in the shack right now. Everyone watching in. So 73, Ron, thanks so much. You're sounding good from Fox November 43. Don't change a thing. November 1, Gulf Fox Delta from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. 73, Ron. Very good, 73, and uh, thanks for the contact, and good luck. Yeah, good to hear the bands open. Uh, uh, K0, uh, Thanks so much, Mark. WC and 1GFD, 73. 73. And again, live on YouTube. Just go to K0LWC. Search it out on YouTube and you'll find the live stream here in the shack. You can get on the live stream. I'm just going to be around for a couple more minutes here. So with that, I'll be QRZ to any station, anywhere. November 1, Uniform Whiskey November 1, Uniform Gulf Whiskey 59 into the suburbs of Minneapolis. Likewise, back to you, sir. Absolutely beautiful audio into Bedford County, Virginia today. Just wanted to say hello, and uh, maybe I can get the missus to go and see what I sound like out in Minnesota. Well, if she's listening in, it would sound phenomenal because you have beautiful audio, beautiful 5.9 signal, uh, not, a, not a care in the world about your station there because it sounds great. Uh, I'm just running 100 watts into a dipole around 50 feet at the center conductor. Uh, one leg gets up around 80 feet in the trees, the other one's about 45, and we're just running it from a uh, ICOM 7300, all fed with LMR 400. Uh, that's the setup on this end, over. Yeah, I got you there. I have an IC 756 Pro 2 oh. with one of those homebrew Steve Elliott. Yeah, Ian, it was nice to work here yesterday. 136 foot. Thank Whoa. you so much. We're about 70 feet up in a couple of nice maple trees. And uh, that's about it, man. It was really a pleasure touching base with you. Have a good day. And I'll be clear on your final. This is N1 UGW. Yeah, phenomenal audio there, uh, Gerald. That's awesome. Uh, N1 UGW, stay, self, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll catch you down the log. This is Kilowatt Zero, a Lima Whiskey Charlie. QRZ for any station, anywhere. Kilo Charlie, Whiskey 4, Whiskey Charlie. Uh, Whiskey 4, Gulf Whiskey Charlie from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. You are 5 and 9 here in Minnesota. You're on a solid 5 8 here into central Georgia. The name is Bill, Bravo India, Lima Lima, over. Yeah, Bill, beautiful signal, awesome stuff. Uh, again, just awesome signal. I wouldn't touch a thing there either. Uh, we're just running 100 watts into a dipole at about 50 feet, so nothing special on this end, over. That sounds really good, so I saw it on QRZ. The dipole looks fantastic. I'm running about, uh, oh, 700 or so into an NFED dipole, over. <laughs> I know the feeling, Todd. Oh, well, I said it's doing a great job for you in uh, just 100 watts, I assume. 700 at this end, over. All right, well, you're making me jealous now. <laughs> That's my, my wish list here is I got to get a, uh, a bigger and better tuner and then uh, an amplifier is probably the next few things to put in the shack here. Uh, just out of curiosity, what amp are you running? I just recently picked up a Palstar, the LA1K, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's, it's phenomenal. It's fully automated. Uh, I, I'm really pleased with it, over. Yeah, I said I got my eye on some of those PAL stars too. That, the ICOM, the PAL star, some of the Elecraft stuff is interesting. But, uh, and then of course the Ameritron if I want to go tube. But I'm not sure if I want to go tube or solid state. I'm still up and down on that. But uh, thanks so much for the contact. You're sounding beautiful out of uh, central Georgia. Really sounding great and fantastic audio. So we got you down here in the logbook. And uh, thanks so much. Stay healthy and stay safe down that way. W4GWC from K0LWC. 73 from the Twin Cities. Uh, 73 to you. We're clear. Whiskey Tango 1 Radio. Uh, Whiskey Tango 1 Radio. Uh, 5 and 7, 57. Okay, very good. You are about a 5, 8 to 5, peaking to 5, 9. 
Nice audio, good signal. The name here is Bruce, and the QTH is Orange, Connecticut. Orange like the color. Over. Copy that. Thank you for the 5.9 in Orange, Connecticut. Not sure if you've caught it here in the last few go-rounds. Just running 100 watts into a dipole at about 50 feet from an ICOM 7300. So uh, nothing special on uh, this end uh, there, Bruce. Over. Oh, he might have some problems there. Sounds choppy, almost like he's cutting in and out. All right, Bruce, uh, it's it almost like you faded down and like you were having some uh, issues there in your shack, like you are cutting in and out. Are you still able to copy me, Bruce? Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, every once in a while, my uh, tutor decides to give me grief. Anyway, I was saying I'm running 106, uh, yeah, a 7300 square foot, 100 Yeah, I was going to say, it sounded like some kind of tuner problem. 160 meter Carolina wind, I'm up about 40 feet, so uh, we're in similar, uh, similar uh, setups, over. All right, awesome. Well, it's doing a great job for you, just like it's doing a good job for me. Your Carolina Wyndham sounds great. With that, Bruce, I'll say 73 with the big pileup out there. So uh, it's great to have you on here. Thanks for being part of the YouTube live stream today on my K0LWC YouTube channel. And we'll catch you further down the log. Stay healthy and stay safe. WT1R from K0LWC. 73 from the Twin Cities, Bruce. All right, man. Stay safe and Charlie 2, November 6th. Okay, with a question. Pleasure. WT1R, 73. 73, Bruce. All right, we got a, just a crush of people in there, and there was somebody in there with a question. Go ahead. Yes, hi, this is uh, N1G. Uh, 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 I have a quick question for you. I didn't catch your call, but uh, just the station with the question. Go ahead. Yeah, November 1, Gulf, Foxtrot, Delta, and New Hampshire. We just spoke, but I have a question for you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're running the same setup I am with a 7300. Your audio is impeccable. I'm wondering what you're running for a mic and what you have your mic uh, parameters set to. Yeah, so again, running the ICOM 7300 uh, with the stock HM219 hand mic. And a lot of people don't know that the, the hand mic that comes with the ICOM 7300 is actually a Heil, uh, I said, element inside the microphone. So that's why it sounds so good. It's tuned just for this radio. I'm running a compression of two, two out of 10 on compression. And then let me jump into my uh, transmit audio settings here. And then I have my, my bass and my treble cranked all the way up. A bass of five and a treble of five in the menu settings of the radio. Uh, and that's found under, uh, if you go to, let's see, set tone control TX sideband, you'll see the settings there. So TX is at five, uh, for bass and the TX treble is at five. And again, compression set to two. Hey, what do you have your mic gain at? The mic gain is currently set at 63% and I'm probably about three to three and a half inches away from the microphone. Okay, very good. I was really curious because your audio is incredible. Um, I'm running a 7300 with a high uh, desktop mic. Um, I just have the, uh, the hand mic, so <laughs> maybe I'll try that as well. I was very curious about your configuration because you're doing a great job. So I'll let you continue, N1G update. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I so said the hand mic does a phenomenal job with this radio. Um, yep, so bass and treble cranked <laughs> for better or for worse. A little bit of compression and 63 on the gain. All right, uh, 73 there, Ron, and take care. Uh, with that, we'll be back to QRZ for any station, anywhere. All right, probably got about, well, actually, I just heard it there at the tail end as I keyed up. There is a QRP station. Let's make way for him uh, with some other big signals in there. Stand by the big signals, but the QRP, the QRP again. Oh, he's going to be tough. He's going to be really tough. Yeah, it's, you're a little bit light. You came up with the QSB there and I heard you, but now of course you faded back down. Uh, so the QRP station, try it again, again. I got Whiskey Bravo 4 Japan Hotel question mark. All right, QSL, WB4JHS, you are a four and one, 41 in Minnesota, over.
Yeah, the call sign is Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie. Kilowatt Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie. And I'm going to up you to a 5 and 2, 52 there in the last go around. And what did you say your power was? Was that 5 watts? All right, I copy 1717. All right, QSL, QSL, I got it, 17 watts. Thank you very much for that. And with that, uh, I'll say 73, and thank you for the QRP contact. I uh, said, so I'm glad we are able to sneak you in there uh, amongst the other big signals. You're sounding good there from EL98. Uh, 73, this is Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, QRZ. All right, stand by. We got a station right next, that came and parked right next to me. Let me just check on that station one second. All right, hopefully they uh, will go away. But uh, all right, let's try it again, QRZ. Uh, the Kilo Echo. Uh, the Kilo Echo 4. Kilo Echo 8. Number 4, Quebec, November Tango. Yeah, the KE8. Kilo Echo 8. Kilo Whiskey, KE8, KW, QSL. All right, Kilo Echo 8, Kilo Whiskey. Uh, got you that time, Ken, from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey, Charlie. You're 5 and 4, 54 into Minnesota. All right, fantastic. Uh, I just have to ask you, Ken, because again, you're in one of those difficult states to get confirmed at times. Uh, do you confirm on QRZ or LOTW? Um, uh, right now, I'm having trouble with LOTW, but I will confirm on, uh, um, on QRZ. All right, fantastic. That works for me. QRZ's perfect. I'm going to send you up to a 55, 5 and 5 on your report there, Kim. Uh, the name is Matt Mike Alpha Tango Tango. I'm located about 20 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. QSL? All right, 73. Uh, QRZ? November 4, Quebec, November Tango. Uh, November 4, Quebec, November Tango. Uh, you're 5 and 7, 57 into Minnesota. Awesome, Alan. Glad that you got one coming in. All right, uh, Art, you're sounding great there uh, from Echo Mary 9.6. We're just running 100 watts into a 93-foot-long uh, dipole at about 50 feet at the center conductor. One leg gets up around 80 feet, the other leg around 45 or so here in the trees behind the house. And then we're running an ICOM 7300 and feeding up that power through a LMR 400 over. Thanks for hanging out, Alan. Tunable that way. One antenna works out great for uh, you know property sizes that can't have multiple lengths or multiple antennas. So, boy, it's a tunable antenna. It's working really great for you, Matt. Go ahead. Yeah, I've been really happy with it so far. You know, uh, this is my first ZS6 BKW. I did have an old G5RV. It's actually still sitting in my shack here. And uh, I used that many, many, many years ago. But I've been really happy so far with this ZS6. It's been phenomenal. Uh, just getting it up at the height that it's at. And it's played really well. I think I've only had it up now for about 10 days. And I think I'm up around 23 countries. And uh, I'm, I'm just stacking QSOs here in the logbook. So I've been really happy with it. Of course, you know, who wouldn't want a nice uh, beam or a stack set up on a tower? but for a wire here in the suburban neighborhood to keep the neighbors happy, uh, I'm not going to complain. Over. Uh, it's nice to, uh, you know, still have the opportunity to get something up 
and uh, you know some subdivisions are a little strict, some are HOAs and such, but hey, uh, incognito dipole, sometimes it's hardly even noticeable. We recognize it, you know, because we know what we're looking for, but uh, generally mm -hmm. speaking, it's like, you know, someone probably won't even notice, but hey, hey Matt, I want to ask you a question real quickly. Um, I, I found something out about QRZ, uh, my, my real name, of course, on the license is author, so of course I go by art now for radio. Oh, QS Bravo took him way down, right to the noise. Uh, yeah, I go by either one. Matt or Matthew is fine. I guess uh, Matt is more common, but if I'm in trouble, it's probably Matthew. Over. He may have just... Ooh, he's coming back up a little bit. He's S0 to S3 now. He was 5'9". Well, thanks so much, Art. Yeah, that's good information. I'll have to go through and update that. I did not know that. So uh, thanks for that. Great to hear you in there from uh, North Carolina. You're sounding great. Uh, stay healthy and stay safe. November 4, Quebec November Tango from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, live here on YouTube. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the live uh, stream today. It's been fantastic. Uh, we're just going to eke out a couple more contacts. I have a feeling my son is so close to being awake upstairs that I have to get out there and, and help my wife with, with him. So um, I'm, again, live on YouTube. If you want to look us up, just look up my call sign, K0LWC on YouTube. You'll find the live stream. Come in, hang out, watch. And uh, with that, I'll be QRZ for any station, anywhere. Well, first time I've gotten nothing back. I wonder if the band just took a big change. We're putting out the call. Yeah, so we'll run another 5, 10 minutes. I know I said 2.30. I'm going to stretch it even a little bit longer here, guys. But uh, we'll see what else I can make. If you guys want to try a contact on another band before I jump, put it in the chat comment. And uh, we'll give it a shot. I'm happy to try to jump to whatever band you want. I can do pretty much anything except for 6 right now. All right, very light copy. We'll give her a shot. Uh, KB7 USA from K0LWC. You're 5 and 2, 52 into Minnesota. Yeah, QSL, copy there from Kingman, Arizona. You're 52, 5 and 2 into Minnesota. Uh, what's my report down there in Arizona today? Over. A Kilo Bravo 7 Uniform Sierra Alpha, you're 5 and 2, 52 into Minnesota. Over. You might be a little bit too light. I think the band just went under a big shift. I'm going to not log him and put the call out again here. Thanks for hanging out, Anton. If you're still around, I appreciate it. Good to have you in here from Russia. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for everybody for hanging out today. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's been great to interact with you guys here. I've had a ton of fun racking up contacts. i got to get my QSL cards ready, guys. This is my old one, if you didn't see it from earlier. This is my old Colorado QSL card. I'm just ordering my Minnesota ones this week. So let's see what we can get back here on this one. The band may have just, like, fell off completely. Like, from 5.9 pileup to nothing like that. This is pretty wild. 75 meters to northeast Minnesota, possible. I order my cards through KB3IFH, Kilo Bravo 3 India Fox Hotel. Just Google him. Great guy, super nice. He actually helps you with design work, too. Um, great cards. Here's a closer look at it. This is the one that I designed myself because I have some design background. But this was my card. Here's the back. Glossy, 5x7. Really nice card. 
I mean, the band literally just shut off like a faucet, guys. I mean, it was just dead. The waterfall looks much different. I can still see signals, but not like it was. So there must have been a big, big ju jump on the, uh, the band there. Oh, Adam, I look forward to getting your card in the mail. I use a, uh, a linear. All right, here we go. The Kilo Lima Echo. Roger, Roger. South Alabama here. Yeah, what was the full call again? Whiskey 4 Kilo Lima Echo. All right, there we go. Now I got you. W4KLE. Got you that time, Dennis, from Smith, Alabama. I have to imagine you must be tuned in on YouTube. Oh. Just sitting here, just listening to this actor and uh, what was going on on the ears around here. And I came uh, out here, something pop in here. All right, excellent. Well, I, I said you kind of came out of nowhere after I was quiet for a bit. But uh, yeah, you're five and nine here into the northwestern suburbs of uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. The name is Matt Mike Alpha Tango Tango, and I'm just doing a live YouTube stream here for my followers. And there you were out of nowhere. Todd, I use a Astron RS35M. It is a linear power supply, a 35 amp from Astron. All right, very good. Well, I said, I'll make sure I reflect that here in the notes on the log. And thank you so much for the 5.9 there into Alabama. Uh, with that, I'm going to say 73. I'm going to QSY to 75 meters, it sounds like, for another quick contact. Um, but I got you down in the logbook. You're sounding great here in Minnesota, so I'm sure you'll make some more contacts. There's not a doubt in my mind about that. So uh, 73, thanks for getting down here in the log, and stay healthy and stay safe down that way, uh, Dennis. Uh, take care. W4KLE from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. Uh, all right, give me a frequency. Okay, 3919. All right. I, we'll see how it tunes up there. We'll give her a shot. All right, I'm going to be QSY to 75 meters, 3919. Again, 3919. K0LWC. Ah, uh, yes, the joys and noise of 75. All right, so let's tune it up here. You can hear someone else tuning. That's, that sounds good. We'll see how we do here. Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie. All right, I'm on 39.19. Uh, kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie on 39.19. All right, W0ZRK, and there was uh, somebody else. Let me just log you really quick. And then there was uh, somebody else in there. Uh, the other station that was also in there? All right, standby. Let me just get this one logged in real fast. And it was November 0 Fox Tango Papa. All right, Marv, there we go. Got you there in Owatonna. We'll let you, you know, get you down there in the logbook as well. All right, very good. So I got to ask, so which one of you were in the, uh, in the YouTube chat? That's my first question. Okay, so you came from 18. Because uh, there was a... I'm trying to think. The, the name was... TK920 was the YouTube username, and they're supposed to be here. I just was wondering which one of those would be you. But, uh, and then the other station in there, let me run back to my logbook. 
uh, let's see, W0ZRK, Tom. Uh, where are you located at, Tom? What's up, James? Hey, Tom, are you still in there? W0ZRK, K0LWC. Okay, very good, Tom. So, uh, was it you there in the chat? Yeah, W0ZRK, K0LWC. Uh, Tom, was it you that posted up in the uh, YouTube live stream chat? Yeah, you're about, uh, it seems to be kind of up and down, which is a little odd, but you're about a 3 by 3 33. Sometimes you come up to about a 5 and 5. Uh, try it again, Tom. Yeah, I got a little bit of noise at S5, and you're just at the noise or a little lower, so it's uh, a little bit tough sometimes. But uh, glad we were able to make the contact, Tom. I see you're up there in St. Louis County, and uh, glad we were able to make it work. Uh, W0ZRK, K0LWC. And then uh, back to the other station down there in Owatonna. And of course, I think I just messed up my uh, logbook. I didn't get you down there. What was your call sign again? Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, I said, uh, I just got a lot of noise down here, as most people do, but it, my neighborhood in particular is not great. We're sitting probably at about S5, S6 noise, um, so it does make things a little bit tough for me, over. Okay, at 25 feet, then yeah, it's a real good NVIS antenna for you. Maybe that's why I'm hearing you a little stronger than the station up in the iron range there uh, with Tom. Because, uh, yeah, if you're in Owatonna at 25 feet in your dipole, you're probably throwing a lot of signals straight up. So, yeah, you're, you're over 5'9 here. It's just really rough with my noise floor here. Well, 15 over, S9, on the peak. All right, N0FJP, yeah, you peaked there, 15 over, S9. It's just I got a horrible hum and buzz in my, uh, in my band here. It's just <laughs> the suburbs do not play nice. Let's just put it that way. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, hopefully you entered the giveaway if you don't have a phone already. I did that on my YouTube channel last night. I'm giving away three VoIP phones for Hamshack Hotline. So if you did not enter that, make sure you do. I'm going to give them away next week, Sunday. Uh, so make sure you check into that. The Hamshack Hotline is a great thing to toy with, to play with, experiment with. And if you're into public service or MCOM, Aries, any of that kind of stuff, uh, it's a really fantastic uh, you know, great service. And the fact that it's free minus the cost of like, you know, buying the phone is, is phenomenal. So if you did not check that out, check out my YouTube and uh, definitely, as I said, get into that giveaway if you don't already have a phone established. But all right, uh, N0FJP, great to hear you down there from the southern part of the state. You're sounding good here in the northwest side of the metro. And uh, we'll catch you down the log. N0FJP from Kilowatt Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie in Maple Grove, Minnesota. 73, Marv. Yeah, I got like S. Was that uh, KB0WJQ? Oh. 
Oh yeah, I said this is obviously going to be much better for us given your location. You're a solid 5 and 9, 59. The only thing holding you back is the sheer amount of noise floor and uh, AC buzz I have in my radio. But no, a uh, beautiful signal here on this band uh, compared to what we were doing there on 10. Yeah, 73, Chris. Well, I said, even with the, uh, you know, now the conditions are changing and the bands are getting better and better with the sunspots, um, you know, it's not going to take much of an antenna to be shooting DX and, and talking to people all over the world. So uh, don't be afraid to turn on the HF radio and make some contacts because the sunspots are really going to crank things up here. So have fun with it and uh, great to make a contact with you here on 3919. 73 and take care uh, out the, to the west there. I said, but you get pretty close to your neck of the woods because... Uh, we go to the high V there right on the border of uh, you know your town and Maple Grove, so you're not too far away from me at all. Uh, I usually see your police officers <laughs> hanging out at the grocery store eating their lunch. Uh, so 73, take care. KV0 WJQ from K0 LWC. Hello to Spain. And uh, I bought my ZS6 BKW. I did not build it. I wish I had time to build a wire. I do not. <laughs> not with a one-year-old, I don't. We'll just take another standby in case there's any other local stations here in the Midwest uh, on 3919 before I say QRT here and, uh, and hop off the radio. This is Kilowatt Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie live on YouTube on the K0 LWC YouTube channel. And I'll stand by QRZ for any station anywhere. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tom, uh, ND0TS, K0LWC. Uh, good copy on this band as well. I'd say you're about 5859. All right, copy the 4 and 4, 44. Again, you're 5859 uh, down this way, Tom. Uh, obviously, 40 meters is going to be better for us than here, but uh, I said my antenna is really not long enough to play really well down here. It does load up, it does work, but uh, certainly not the best antenna for this band. Over. You're probably using YouTube to know when I stop transmitting. All right, thanks so much, Tom, for hanging out there and uh, following me around the bands. I've enjoyed getting all the contacts with you there in the logbook. And uh, I appreciate all the contacts today. Thanks so much. Uh, ND0TS from K0LWC, I'll be QRZ. Uh, the Whiskey Zero, is it Fox Juliet Radio? Uh, good afternoon, Rich. The name is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango Tango, and uh, just here doing a little bit of a YouTube live stream here for my YouTube channel and making some contacts. Uh, how are you this afternoon? Over. Oh, real good, real good. And I think you said Matt. Uh, yeah, just doing some computer work here and uh, strolling around the band. Thought I'd say hello from uh, Zimmerman. Good to hear you. Nice signal, good audio. Uh, w zero F J R. Uh, Nick, my name is Rich from the Olympia Charlie Hotel. Yep, Rich, you got the, the name correct. It's Matt, Mike, Alpha, Tango, Tango. We're just out here in Maple Grove near Fish Lake. We don't really have a, a real, you know, long antenna to run this band, but uh, my ZS6 BKW does load up, and it does get up around 50 to 80 feet in the air, so it does okay uh, here on these bands, but not the best. And so uh, where uh, exactly are you at in Zimmerman? Like, uh, what part of town? Oh, okay, yep, I'm taking a look at it now here on my screen. Uh, yeah, I actually can reach up your way uh, on VHF, UHF often. Uh, in fact, I've done that drive up uh, 169 there. I usually jump into the uh, Elk River repeater there on the 9.7. Uh, I don't know if you're active on VHF and UHF and have that uh, repeater in your, uh, your memory bank or not, but I definitely get up your way and uh, use that 9.7 machine when I do. All right.
right, W0FJR, uh, thanks so much, Rich73. Have a great rest of your Sunday. From Kilo Zero, Lima, Whiskey, Charlie, I'll be QRZ. All right, one more call out. All right, uh, one final call before I go QRT. This is Kilowatt Zero, Lima, Whiskey, Charlie, for the YouTube live stream this Sunday afternoon on the K0LWC YouTube channel. Uh, any station, anywhere, I'll um, QRZ. All right, nothing there, guys. Whew, that was a solid three hours of HF fun, guys. Um, that was a lot. Let's check the logbook and see what we got. Uh, we definitely racked up a lot today. Um, let's see, so we're at, what, 15 per sheet here. Let's see how much, how far back can we go. Uh, one, two, we made, looks like about... 60 contacts today, uh, no DX unless you count Canada. Sorry, Canada, you are technically DX, but let's be realistic. <laughs> America's hat is not that far away. So um, we made some really good stuff out there. We had a lot of fun, um, some really great signals. If you don't have a great antenna for HF and you've you know kind of been off of HF, if you've been a new ham for a year or two or three years, um, don't discount HF now because I just wrote an article on K0LWC.com about this where you know there's a, a giant sunspot facing earth right now and it's the sunspot numbers up around i think 60 to 70 and the sfi or the solar flux index is over 100. what these, this all means is hf conditions are good and they're only going to be getting better and better and better for the next you know four or five six years so if you have a so-so antenna for hf uh, now is the time to get out there and start listening again because conditions are finally improving after so many years so again, even if you got a crappy antenna, get out there, call CQ, listen in, use FT8. FT8 is great if you have a compromised antenna. I'm usually working FT8 during the weekdays because I do work here in the shack uh, from home during the week. And I usually just you know, have my computer here and I'm working FT8 while also working at the same time. So uh, FT8 is fantastic, but the conditions are finally getting better, guys. So don't, uh, don't keep it off. Don't let it collect dust in the corner. Um, get out there and rack up some contacts. I've only had my antenna up here in the backyard. And by the way, uh, thanks to the Maple Grove Radio Club for helping uh, you know, bring the slingshot over here and get my antenna up in the trees. I've only been up on the air now for like, what has it been? Uh, probably about 10 to 11 days. I've gotten 400 contacts and 23 different countries around the world. And I have touched every single continent from my simple wire in the trees here uh, at around 50 feet. So it doesn't take much and I don't have an amplifier. In fact, the time to have an amplifier was the last three to four years. That's when having an amplifier really helped. Now, for the next three or four or five years, having an amplifier will really not be necessary at all because the conditions are just gonna get to be that good. So uh, get on the band, just get on the radio. Even if you don't hear anything, call CQ. You'll never know what will come back to you. Even if it sounds dead, call CQ for five or 10 minutes. You know, give three, four, five, six calls because somebody else that just like you could be listening in and scanning around listening for somebody else. And if no one's talking, no one's gonna know the band's open. Uh, again, some of the things I use are uh, dxmaps.com. Check out DX Maps. Uh, another great site if you're using FT8 or you just wanna understand propagation is PSK Reporter. Uh, the website for that is pskreporter.info, dot I-N-F-O. Uh, I use that to check where my signal is going around the world on FT8. It's a real-time spotting network, so you can see where propagation is occurring from your QTH. Uh, Travis, what's your priority, antenna or receiver for digging out signals? Oh, it's always going to be antenna, Travis. Um, whatever you can do to improve antenna, uh, for sure. Antenna is everything. I mean, you can have the most beautiful shack, the highest end $10,000 radio, a 1500 watt you know, amplifier, and the most beautiful shack layout. But if you go out to a relatively compromised or lousy antenna, it really don't matter for anything, right? And that's just radio in general, right? It's, it's antenna, antenna, antenna. Um, I will take a really great, well-engineered antenna system with the worst HF radio known to man any day of the week. So, uh, yes, in fact, I find that my ICOM 7300 is actually um, almost too sensitive of a receiver for the city. If I lived out way in the country, 
I would probably love this radio 10 times what I already do because this thing picks up so much noise because it's so damn sensitive, it actually makes life a little bit difficult. If I have an older uh, non-SDR radio, it'd actually probably be a benefit for me uh, because I wouldn't get as much noise in my receiver. Uh, but that's not a bad thing. I've said, I just turn down the gain and, and you know, roll it back a little bit and you're fine. But, uh, but yeah, thanks guys for hanging out shotgun here in the live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed hanging out with you. If you liked it, drop me a comment. Um, if you haven't already liked this video, it just helps spread it to more hams around the world. Um, maybe I'll do more of this. If you like it, I'll try to make it a regular thing. We can come hang out on the weekends and do HF, or you can see what I'm doing in the shack with other stuff that I'm experimenting with. So if you like it, let me know in the comments. And uh, again, I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter, at K0LWC on Twitter, at K0LWC on Instagram. K0LWC.com is my website. You can read great articles over there. And uh, don't forget, I'm giving away three VoIP phones right now, guys, on the YouTube channel. Go look for that video for Hamshack Hotline. Where is my phone? It's around here somewhere. Let me find it. I am giving away, uh, thanks to some other great hams out there who have donated and made this possible, three Avea Hamshack Hotline phones. Right here, guys. I am giving away three of these. And if you don't know what Hamshack Hotline is, it is a free VoIP service just for ham radio operators around the world. So I am giving away three of these this week. Um, you can figure out how to enter on my Instagram or look for that other YouTube video on my channel. All right, thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for hanging out. I loved interacting with you guys. And uh, I'll catch you again next time. Take care, guys. Have a great rest of your week.